You know you gotta be rich as fuck to get your hair just sitting like that shit, looking like taco meat. Hey, man. Taco meat. She look like a br- she look like the Brillo pad I, I, I scrape crumbs off my plates with. Hey man, welcome to another live edition of Show Your Work Network. This is volume forty six. Oh, to see we done made the forty six. Lord, we Lord, you done done wonders for us, cause boy, listen, we here, man. But ain't nothing else to say. We here. We got a loaded show for y'all. It's gonna go down. I'm DJ Larry. If y'all want to follow me, it's at DJ Larry0093 on Twitter and social media. Right above me, I have Mr. Band from the internet himself, Marcel. Go ahead and drop your shit. Hey man, you know, you can follow me on Instagram, 60 shot cell block underscore underscore. Uh Twitter, don't even follow me because just don't appear. <laughs> nah, nah, drop drop TikTok at too, nigga. Oh man, yeah, man. I know I'm on uh I'm on TikTok. Uh follow me on there, uh Big 60. We'll talk about we're gonna talk about that in a hot second. Don't you worry, pal. We got you. Oh, don't you worry. Got my boy Nell in here, the goat. Talk your shit. Modelos, what is it? He just cracked that shit. That's actually my diet. It's a beer from Puerto Rico. So you gotta send me some of those. Yeah. What's up, Pops? Pops. Well, Pops well, in here. well, they sell them in Jersey now, so I gotta tell my pops to give me a couple twelve packs on the way down. They finally started selling in the United States. But yeah, yeah, follow me at Who's Original. Usual shit. We here. So say less, and then Youngin. If you ain't <laughs> occupied, bro, go on one time. Ah uh, man, you know y'all can follow me at two L Jungin two L S Y U N G I N. Man, let's get into this shit, man. I'm I'm ready to talk. All right, before before I right, gangster. All right, <laughs> player, <laughs> pal. I ain't got no motherfucking Twitter. You barely can find me on IG, but I'll be on TikTok looking at them women. Salute to y'all. I thought you said you ain't never seen a woman before. I just see him online. That's it, brother. I, I just, yeah, I say, bro. just virtually, just digital. That's, it, that's all, bro. And as yeah. and as we, this is gonna be our new motto. We down there need to make this a t-shirt. So just remember, if y'all see us out, man, just relax and mind your business. Mind your fuck. No, mind your fucking business. No cap, hmm. man. Mind your business. There we go. Business. There we go. Your fucking man. business. Where we go? Yeah, man. Can all right, man. Simple. Let's let's start this bitch off right, oh. man. Marcel, what what's up with you, man? <laughs> what's, what's really going on? What are you talking about, bro? You let me ask you a question, bro. What drove you to TikTok? Did did getting banned from Madden drive you to TikTok? Were you in the house bored, like Marcel the mud? <laughs> Marcel, <laughs> please please tell mud us Marcel. Because now that we're all here and this is a safe space. What did you do to get banned from Madden, and why are you on TikTok? Yo, man, I really think I got banned because I bought coins from um, EasyMutt.com. And, I, like, Larry's on my head because he said, you didn't do the grind. I did the grind. I got receipts. I did my grind. I just wanted new players. I just wanted to do Travis Kelsey card. It was, you know, I'm a Chiefs fan. I need to get Travis Kelsey on my team. So why didn't you buy this? From PlayStation Store, say. I did. He but, thought he was so, gonna get away. He thought he was gonna get away with getting um a hundred dollars worth of mud coins for twelve dollars. I mean, it was I got six hundred dollars. I mean, six hundred um mud coins. But I got for thirty dollars. I mean, nigga, niggas on YouTube. Amp, heavy. Amp, yo, Amp, get on this podcast right now. <laughs> he said, "Don't let Dean Ambrose see that beer." Oh, uh, uh, relax. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Relax, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, what? <laughs> Green ass bro. nigga. Relax. This, my man Marcel bought his mad his mutt coins from TJX6. Bro, <laughs> I'm bro, I'm I'm trying to get unsuspended, bro. I can't, bro. I lucky. I lucky I'm, I'm I'm like I need it, bro. I need bro, it. Bro, shout out to TJX6, bro. He has the greatest Kenny Beats freestyle ever, bro. That shit was so ass, but so bro. great. Bro. You probably, you but you got scammed by somebody who was listening to Beat the Woo or something, bro. Damn. 
How much sick, how much bro. did you pay for them coins, Marcel? Uh, sixty dollars. Damn. No, 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 no. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. You paid thirty dollars. How much they normally work from the PlayStation store? Well, you can't get you can't get more coins on, on the PlayStation store. You gotta get the the little um the tickets. Bro, so that's it, even worse, yeah. nigga. You're buying something that you can't get, that you can't buy through the game, bro. I saw my players, <laughs> bro. Bro, I saw my players. That's I like, saw like I saw I, like five or six players. That ain't gonna equal that, bro. Doesn't matter, man. Niggas be doing this all the time, and I got but killed you know for it. Just because other all right. So if I go jump off a bridge and and I leave, you gonna do it too? Yeah, nigga. <laughs> bro. I've done this before on, on Matt and 20. Mark, and, 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 yeah, that's, and that's why they got you. It don't matter, bro. Like, if you <laughs> they get got, called, they got you get caught. Like, yeah. That's shit. It's like, called yeah, EA Sports. It's in the game for a reason, nigga. You want to go and outside and that's, the game and, to get and, it. And that's why FIFA leaving them. Okay. <laughs> Bruh. Okay. Okay. That's why FIFA leaving them. <laughs> hey, that's speaking of that, EA, speaking man. of that, they do got a new uh, soccer game out. On well, I, it was free when I put it in my uh, library. Compared to FIFA, it's decent. Huh, so, pro Evolution, yeah, yeah, Pro Evolution is uh, pretty good. Pe- Pez, yeah, but yeah. bro, Pe- that's Pez is all right. That ain't got nothing to do with Madden. Stay on topic, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was on topic. I, I, I'm just saying, FIFA, that's out here. Bam. This doesn't exclude you from the fact that you went and tried to up the score, bro, and they up the score on you. Like that's just uh, what. But that's the, the crazy part is EA never gave me a suspension letter or anything. They you know, not, bro. I, you're cheating that game. <laughs> no, that's the thing. I never got suspended. I never got suspended. A suspended uh email or when I look on my uh account. Nigga, you think you about to get a dignified so, response, nigga? I was about to say, <laughs> you think, yeah, they, 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 if we're playing, they if you, you playing, the back, they kicked you out the back door. You playing, they didn't even walk you through the door. If you playing Call of Duty and you get reported for uh hacking, they not sending you nothing, nigga. They gonna nigga, they gonna kick your ass out the game that you in, and you done oh, for, the, my boy. They're supposed to send you. They're supposed to send you something. Send Since you when? Email. Since when? Yeah, when I talk to the people, they said. It's like, uh, you never got an email saying that you got suspended or banned or anything. So we're gonna take this to other people so they can get your account taken care of. That's what All they told right. me. This, this EA or did you contact the Mutt support team? <laughs> like, uh, I, I talked to EA. So you didn't even. Contact. I was about to make a joke, but I did not say it. You 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 didn't even come clean with EA, bro. He was just like, yeah, I don't understand why my account's doing this. I just. <laughs> That's the only reason I can think of. There's no other reason. I don't. I don't even talk shit on it. Don't um, fuck. Don't fuck. Don't fuck. And track all them damn mud coins from Easy Mud Coin, bro. Your ass is like, ooh, new Travis Kelsey. It's shiny. Like, I'm gonna get this yeah, one. that's how I feel. Like I do my team, bro. I was like, I'm a 91, man. You know why bro. they got you? Because you were trying to buy a white man. Mmm. Mm. Not how it works. They mm. supposed to buy us, my brother. Mmm. Uh, the size see. owner. You. See. You, stay, you hashtag, hashtag, listen, hashtag stay mellow. You spend money on the mutt, but not on the smuts. Mm, see, mm. See. The fact that I told you to get some VC so we can hop on 2K. Mm. I don't know, bro. He might get that shit off an of easy VC, nigga. Like, he might get you fucked up. Nah, I'm easy that. band. <laughs> nah, nah, actually, nah. 2K uh, treat me right. I'll be playing my team. I'll be buying coins. He bought his mutt coins from Dr. Love. Man. You he spent $100? Y'all be spending hundred dollars on that shit? No. What on two K? Yeah, two K. Nigga, I spent hundred dollars on the game itself. <laughs> yeah, because the VC I'm that's broke, the whole baby. thing. Like, bro, I don't like spending a hundred dollars on all goddamn VC, bro. That's crazy. Not me. Not nah, me. hell nah. My team, like, probably a couple years ago, man. My team got me for my pockets. Young and I, don't play, t- I don't play my turn. <clears throat> I play career and franchise. There you go. Yeah, that's me, you don't, me you too, don't have to spend. Cause young gonna yeah. tell you, bro. I play that shit, and then I'll get bored and some new JRPG shit come out, some shit new, and I'll just be like, all right, you trade this bitch in and get some money for it while I still can. So yeah, so, yeah. yeah I play. If I'm playing 2K, I get bored of my career, and I hop on my team, and my team just take my life over. I'm about to say, yeah. See, when I get bored of my career, I just go to the park and start raging, and then go back to my career. Dog, all God, I play is Kingdom Hearts 1.5, 2.5 mix, and goddamn Guardians of the Galaxy. Ah, uh, bro, I ain't gonna hold you. I've been tripping, bro. Kingdom I ain't played the game in like two weeks. 
Kingdom Hearts got a stranglehold over y'all niggas, bro. We're gonna we're gonna talk about that another time. They Yo. they they re rock kings, bro. They stay re <laughs> that shit. Yeah, I can't wait till we get into that conversation because you about to be disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shout out to my brother, man. He got Call of Duty, so I had to buy this shit. Why did he do it? Why? Vanguard? Yeah, because I ain't buy it. I ain't Bro, Battlefield's about, about, about to be better. I ain't buy the last game. No. No, no, no. Battlefield's about to be better. I understand what you're saying, but Battlefield is about to be way better. So, are, are we confirming that the Sell Your Work boys will be on Twitch together playing Battlefield? Absolutely. All you right. niggas will be. Okay. I'm going to be a player <laughs> hater. All right, as this as this nigga co- covers himself up with a blanket, I, I got. I, I need I need some shooting game. I don't know if I don't know which one I'm gonna get, it, but I, I need I need a shooter for sure. Hey man, just so the the fact that Marcel is getting just banned from different shit is just hilarious. And then, mean, bro, nah, nah, you sinking into your like you did it to yourself, like no nah, one, bro. Twitter, Twitter, I can understand because they gave me. They gave me like, here, nigga, sucking your hand. Stop doing this shit, but I'm still doing it. So they got me out of here. So I'm not. I wanted to be back on Twitter, but hey, man, it's all right, bro. Yeah, you ain't, oh, you ain't heard no hand in the crib. Hey, 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 hey. Now you talking about me, bro? I got, I know. I got a hoodie on. I'm chilling. Oh, I thought yeah. he's talking about Marcel. Yeah. Nah, nah. <laughs> okay, so who's here like on TikTok? Show. Is is. is Nelson, I got TikTok. Marcel. I don't really be on it though. My girl, my girl just send me I, shit and bank send me shit. I'm on I, TikTok. I scroll once in a while. Okay, Larry, I gotta ask you. I, I know, yeah. youngin, you ain't on there. You, you definitely ain't on there chopping people heads off. You can't do that on TikTok. He was doing shock videos. Yeah, <laughs> that's still love. I don't post. I don't post love, on the shit. I don't post on the shit that y'all follow me on that. Which I think I'm gonna do on TikTok. Dance, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, sound racist. Bro, it's not hey, it's not racist, nigga. Yo, can you imagine, bro? Like next week, Trey, like yo, I, I got, I got a TikTok, and you just see him doing <laughs> juke dancing. Like what? Bro, like where? Where did this come from? Not you. Yeah, that's a. Or he on top of water. What's he that? starts what's that? What's that? <laughs> all right, here's all right, all right. I'm out. <laughs> well, hey, you know, water you know, challenge. You know, hey, you know, that key locks on over some water, like a on one, video, on one crazy, condition, bro. on you know, one viral. condition, <laughs> he got to be on there with bag the guy. after bag after bag. Uh uh-uh. uh, <laughs> nah, he got to be on there with the the 2004 Wild Boys music. <laughs> oh, you want to go there? All right, yeah. Remember Uh-oh. that? All three of y'all remember that? <laughs> oh, man, fuck remember y'all. that? See this coming? <laughs> remember that? All hey, right, so bro. I do have. From one of our uh, hosts, one of our co-hosts, I do have a TikTok from him that I would like. Uh, oh, to look for at. the lovely viewers, please show this. You all want my woman? Like she wants you, nigga? No, she wants me, bro. Stop fucking playing with me. Hi, I'm Paul. <laughs> <laughs> But it, it then he puts it on a Playboy Cardi too, like, like, nah, on, Ma- nah. I knew what was up with Marcel when Apple Music snitched and told him what his top ten songs that he listened to this year was. Oh, was Playboy like, Cardi, Playboy Cardi, do walk. <laughs> Playboy Cardi, Playboy Cardi, Playboy, Playboy Cardi, 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 Playboy Who's Cardi. Who's the Kane? That's the only name I did not recognize. Bro. He, ain't he from Baltimore, Marcel? Or is he from Florida? Your, your mic's muted, bro. Your mic's muted, sir. My bad, my bad. Uh, now, he's from uh, Savannah, Georgia. He a young dude. He was like 18. I definitely won't be listening now. <laughs> now he, he's he's Marino. <laughs> Ain't he Marino Infantry? Nah, 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 nah. Uh, he be, he be, yeah, is he be with people I've never heard of before. What the fuck is Marino Infantry? Is that something on call? Marino Infantry is, uh, uh, it's ASAP Ant. It's ASAP Ant. It's a what now? ASAP Ant. Ant's a little Why'd you add you? Also, now he have his own little subsidiary under ASAP Mile. They all doing their own. Technic- well, he he's his own right now. He look he he go by YG Eddie more than ASAP. So you remember how we were talking about how they only signed like Rocky and Ferg for like the solo deals, really? So like the mother niggas is just free to do whatever. So Ant never signed no solo deal, so that's why he right. got his own shit. So really. After them damn cozy tapes, I don't even know if them niggas are still signed up. 
RC, I think Rocky might be the only one if he's still there. Get him out of so. his contract. Release him. He cannot do nothing for you, RCA. <laughs> bro, y'all got to let Rihanna go, bro. bro leave, right. yeah. It ain't because of that. Leave Rocky alone, bro. When the last time you heard game, game, that testing bullshit. When the last time you, I came, I, I saw I, I came. When the last time y'all listened to that shit? Huh. I actually listened to ASAP Forever the other day, but not the one on the album. The one, the single version without fucking Ti, with that nine light years away bullshit and Kid Cud, hu, Kid Cudi humming and all that. That shit was ass. The song by itself with Rocky was fine. Like testing was okay, but it's not. It's not live love ASAP for a long. I'm sorry. I, I'm I'm be honest, bro. He could have kept that shit, and I'm not even being disrespectful. It's a like out of the out of like the eighteen songs that's on there. I may go back and listen to like three. I listen to like four or five. That's terrible. <laughs> Honestly. And the fact that he took that long to drop it to when he was teasing other shit. Like the shit that leaked before that album was way better than what was on there. But he does me. that all the time. Like he's doing that with all smiles too, I'm hearing. So it's like the snippets yeah. be fire. And then like the song, like the album's like, eh. And this is like, this what happens when a nigga. He, he got shit. He had like the song shit in me. He had all that shit, but it is what it is. This is what happens when you focus too much on fashion, not on music. But that's another topic. We back on Marcel though. Before we hop on Halloween, um, yeah, Marcel, what just made <laughs> you wake up and just say I'm on TikTok now? Cause you've been on a roll, bro. Man, I've been I've been sick the whole week, bro. So I just like fuck it. I'm saying let me try TikTok, bro. Cause I was on YouTube. I was on YouTube Shorts, and I used to be. I woke up like at two o'clock in the morning. I have bad sleeping. My sleeping pattern is trash. And I just be on there for like three hours. Then I was like, mm, let me try TikTok. And I'm on TikTok. And it was one particular video. And I was sitting there. I was, I was watch. I actually saved it. It's two videos. Sit there and watch it. I was literally in, in tears, cracking, cracking up. So, and then I just got sucked into the abyss of TikTok. And now I'm on it. That's what it is, bro. Okay. Like TikTok. I gave it is um just do a year ago. I said, yo, there's some creative ass shit on here. Like, I it'd be funny on TikTok, bro. Bro, it'd be baddies on there too. I told you that. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be it'd be some fun. They, the all star team is on there. That was the main thing. I said, okay, cool. I'm on TikTok because they on her. They yeah, it's funny, some... bro. But I'll be laughing my mother ass off. I'll be in there like Mark. Like Martin Mook. Bank, yeah, bro. Like when Banks, coming. Banks, when I, fact, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> he finna pull it up, bro. When Banks get mad, bro, he sound like Baby Joker from Next Friday. I told you, fool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even like Houdini. <laughs> <laughs> As the goat, mm-hmm. green is nigga. Hey. Oh my god, bro! <laughs> Shout out to. Shout out to your pops for going crazy on ASAP. I know he don't he don't like it, but it is what it is. Yeah, he going, he, yeah, he he the comments barking. going wild. Like my dad, yeah, my my dad, my dad don't like none of the new stuff except for maybe like Kendrick. So real, hey, real, he real, real. Yeah. he real. But that's because that real like music. my cause my dad's a jazz head, so that's why. He, um, uh, amazing, sir. <laughs> Wait, like, Pops is like, out here playing the Pepper Butterfly real loud. Hey, fam, not that listen. loud, but like I sent it to him. He listened to it. Like he likes, Pops, he likes Kendrick stuff. I've seen your work, bro. Salute. <laughs> he don't like none of the new stuff. He's like, hey, a, man. he likes the like the stuff I put him on from the '90s, and like it was mostly Biggie and Jay Z and like Tribe Called Quest and that shit. Pops, we need to have you all for a discussion because we need to talk about how when people start stop matching. The suits and stop matching the outfits. Well, that's when music got terrible. Pops, we need to have a conversation about it. So, whenever you're ready, <laughs> Loki, right? Speaking of Rick Ross, Rick Ross is actually at this uh Miami game. They're interviewing him right now. Oh, he got the he got the MMG spinning pendant. Yeah, wow. the only one left said, on the label. I can't so. believe they still do that. <laughs> <laughs> the only one left on the label. He better wear that chain. <laughs> Y'all playing that Wale album? That's right. I ain't heard it, but DMX, I heard it's good. In, yeah, in DMX, I heard it's my dad listening to that too. I heard it was good. Right. I'll take y'all word for it. I listened to that one song with Sean Stockman from Boys to Men. I said, "All right, this is good enough." I listened to one of those songs. 
No, I'm, a, I'm, I'm probably going to check it out later because only because I ain't heard a Wale album in a minute. So <laughs> you're not missing none. <laughs> I am bumping that side, baby. Oh, we know. I listen to that. No, 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 no. We, we know. That's why I said you the damn devil, bro. I know. This is fun. <laughs> I still got to listen to that album, bro. I ain't feeling. Um, I ain't been feeling like a demon lately. I, guess. I ain't um, listening to demon music, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Uh, hey man, uh, it's a lot. Listen to Three Six Mafia. It's a lot I gotta tell you after. Hey, I've been, I've hey, hey, to, hey, 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 hey! I've been listening to Man Three Six these last couple weeks. There's All a right. difference, damn it! <laughs> Except yeah, for we'll today. Talk about that. Today I was listening to uh, Hell on Earth because you know it's under 50 degrees outside. That's when that the, when you if you listen to Mob Deep under 50 degrees, the game sliders go up to 99 for how good it sounds. Yo, <laughs> if you listen to Mob, yeah, if you listen to Mob Deep. Under a certain weather, bro, it's a hey, it get dangerous hey, outside, bro. Hey man, right. when when I heard hey, that man. extortion beat, I was like, oh shit. Uh, Shouts out, never mind. Give me some, give me some, <laughs> Tim, give me some Tim's in the car. Heart. Look, Banks, I heard you, Banks. Shouts she, out. No, she. Why? What? what? No, say it's okay. She got a great TikTok. Mm. <laughs> Shout out. Oh, uh, since we here, and we talking about you know TikTok and shit like that, can we have our our pre discussion before Marcel hopped on, like Marcel and Young, what y'all got against Northeast women, son? Let's just talk about it. Let's, Wait let's... one second, Larry. <laughs> I gotta show something the sick man uh, said in the comments. Said young lady, give me one second, and then we'll go to that. All right, cool. And y'all see this on screen? <laughs> <laughs> Bro. <laughs> That's a sick ass individual, whoever that oh, name move is. Move the comments so we can uh, see the, the face. <laughs> Zoom into that comment, please. I gotta, I gotta pull it up on. Uh, I seen the TikTok. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah it's funny as hell. Well, <laughs> hey, Twenty-eight bro. crying emojis. I was hey, hysterics. Hey. You was kicking hey, your feet in there like murder move, but, but that's, yeah. that's crazy, bro. Because I'm like, when I look on TikTok, I just see them as just a TikTokers. I don't go on there. They're coming like, damn woman, you fine. What's your what's your career gonna do? Oh yeah, nigga, shut the this. fuck up. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I promise. I'm sorry. I ain't got time for this bullshit today, bro. Excuse, I excuse don't. Me. Excuse me, send your beaches. <laughs> exactly. Like do y'all, y'all, y'all see what I see? Yeah. All right. But you think he's yeah. big daddy king, genius of love over here? Yeah, bro. Nigga, Mark says my. Yeah, you're right, Dad. Trips to the barbershop are always revealing. Terrible Tomorrow, sports takes. Terrible music takes. Yeah. But I don't. Man. You're well, lying, but it's okay. I'm not lying. <laughs> no, Mr. Bitch is not lying, bro. He, he better than me. Fuck, I will <laughs> laugh my way into some coochie. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> bro, Banks be laughing like Missy Elliott ad libs. <laughs> Run up and down, bro. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. You do that, but Marcel do a Chief Keef laughing to the bank laugh to get you some. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> yeah. Laugh like Seth Rollins and shit. <laughs> yeah, mine, good me, mine, good me. Personally, my, I just prefer my... Like I said, bro, I just prefer a Southern woman, bro. That's I prefer a Southern woman, too, man. Nigga. That's it, man. Right, man. From? Why not both? Why not but that, that, That's it. Like, it's still nah, a you woman. See, you see, you see, no, I understand. It's still a woman, but you, see, you heard what... You, you see what I said last time about a New York woman? Nah, bro. I'm Gucci. Yeah, you all. Marcel, are. you never even been to New York. They don't really talk like that, Marcel. I'm telling you, bro. Really, you, see, nah, you see, nah, you see, this is not a, this is not a northeast southern woman thing. This is gonna be a northeast Twitter thing. Cause I'm I'm gonna go into it. Like, bro, you cast with your Timberland dead ass bacon egg and cheese jokes. That shit is ass. New York women sound like pot smoke. You just can't bag one. That's why y'all say that shit. I'm not saying you, Marcel. Don't yeah. get too personal. I'm talking about Twitter in general. Y'all sound stupid. Y'all just y'all sound dumb. Marcel. What I gotta do to New York? I got I gotta do the the, the blicky twirl. And all. Right. Right. See, wow. see, 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 I'm about to say, see, I ain't going there for. I got a blicky twirl. This is what's the blicky twirl? What the fuck is a blicky twirl? There's only there's only one neighborhood you could do that in. I'm not gonna get into that's another discussion for another day. But no, you don't have to do that, Marcel. I think I know what you're talking about now. Okay, thanks. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, now I know. I know what he's talking about. It's just where one. It's where uh one um Jackie Robinson used to play. Hey, bro. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to understand like what what you have against Northeast, bro. Like we like 
it's giving us some of the greatest music, some great women, bro. Like I don't have nothing against uh, uh, the East Coast. No, I don't. And you, you said like, bro, you went to what? Which what was the club in Atlanta you went to? Uh, uh, the forgot, bro. I'm like, bro, you literally just talked about it. Bro. I'm just saying. I, I know I forgot. Magic you City, should uh, remember Mag- this. Yeah, you, Magic, City, Magic City. How you forget Magic City, bro? I, I've been sick the whole week, bro. My mom, All right, bro. I'm right. willing to bet. Yeah, I don't even gamble. Okay. I'm, I'm about to say so. So you having cold symptoms? Fuck with your brain. Been You've been day, saying bro. a lot of bullshit today. <laughs> a lot. We gonna get to it. Nah, but... he might be on call, sir. <laughs> you took any medicine? Get this motherfucker a soda. Nah, don't okay. don't let him pull up nothing. He, no, he no, said no, Ethi- no. Ethiopians and what? <laughs> said, yeah, yeah. Come Sim- out, Simi- Simeon Rice. Come <laughs> out, Siri. Bro, Siri mispronounced. Bro, Simeoli, Simeoli. If I can't spell the word, I'm a hey, hey Siri. You think Siri <laughs> is gonna fuck Simoli. up how to say Somalian? Somalians. Some that, just, some, that should sound like a Girl Scout cookie. That should sound like that should sound like an alien race, bro. It sound like, <laughs> it sound like somebody you shoot at Metroid. It sound like the planet Freezer from, bro. Like hey man, yeah, that, that's what that's what Siri said. Hey, sound like Bizarro Jesse Smollett. Man, that shit sound like a goddamn man. Somalia. What's that movie with the uh dude? The was it uh Captain Phillips? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, look I, at me. Look at me. Man, well, fuck Marcella, bro. That shit sounds nah, like y'all that. can't do that. He hey. said he didn't get paid for that role, so he definitely ain't beat nobody up. He hungry. That shit sounds like, sound like a Saw Baby song title. Hey, since I, since, since, I, like since I, stay in, since I stay in Columbus, it's a lot of them motherfuckers up here, man. Shout out to, shout out to the Somalians, which are non-driving ass. <laughs> what? <laughs> Different, bro. He ain't hey, man, different like Marcel, but he different. You got to, well, he is close by Canada, uh, Canada so that's bro, like, I, bro, I kid you not. Hey, bro, man. listen, listen. Hey. Uh, what? Hey, listen. If if you are, I ain't gonna say if you're familiar with Columbus. If you was to ever come to Columbus and you are on the north side of this city, I advise you to do not. I repeat, do not go to Capitol Park, aka Little Somalia. Unless you want to lose, unless you want to lose your car in a wreck. <laughs> All right, man. This, this dude is different, bro. Period. This this dude is different, bro. Right. I was a, when I when I turned when I graduated. Not, not not even when I graduated, nigga. When I hit sixteen, I was supposed to have a, a El Dorado. The El Dorado was white with a blue top. It was like a ninety three, white with a blue top, and my and my pops put uh, chrome <laughs> dates on it. Guess why? I, guess why I didn't get that car? Cause you was that scared of a red. I wasn't scared of shit. A fucking Somalian smacked it. <laughs> Total. Bro. My motherfucker. So has happened more than once. Cause you said it's as no. if it happens often. Listen, me personally, I've never been involved with a wreck in a wreck with a Somalian. You feel me? I've never been involved. With them. But I ride behind them every day. You feel okay. me? I see the way that they drive. I. Po- folks in my family have been involved with multiple wrecks with these motherfuckers, and they jump out their bitch like Mexicans. No offense to anybody, but <clears throat> they jump out. They, man, I'm talking about they jump out their bitch like 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 clowns packed in the car. Hey, bro, you remember that scene in Scarface where he where Manny was like, "Hey, what you got against Colombians, man?" Like that's I've had that conversation with him like ten times. Like, bro, what you got against some up? I don't fucking like some <laughs> Because of driving, that's purely it. That's purely it. That's purely. I mean, it's other things that I that I could say, but I'm not gonna say on air. Hey, bro. Hey, man. One more, definitely gonna try to call in. Hey, man. Shit. (laughs) But no, I just. Hey, man. Listen. Shout out to all the northeastern women, bro, and your aggressiveness. I appreciate it. Now, when you say Northeast, are you just talking about New York? Because you got to factor in Connecticut, Boston. Oh, wow. I'm talking. I'm talking New Jersey. York, Connecticut. No, goddamn. That's why I want to make sure take really? Connecticut out. Shit, really? <laughs> Connecticut out. <laughs> Shit. Shit out there. Nope. Hey, that's that's you, brother. <laughs> I've never met a. I never met anybody from Connecticut. Let alone a woman. I'm not okay. <laughs> Relax. Amazing, <laughs> brother. So you trying to go to ESPN? I see. Two of my <laughs> favorite. Two of my favorite people are from C- Connecticut. Send the ad. No, but yeah, for 
Niggas always be trying to hide they women. Except hey, bro. King of New York for live in Connecticut. Hey, bro. Hey, shout out to Connecticut. And Trapaholics. <laughs> Quicker. All right, because I was going. I was going to ask you to explain it. Uh... Yeah, Nelson, you got to explain that. Pennsylvania. That's why. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, quite good. Hey, yup. Philly? Philly? Yeah, gotta, Philly? You got to add Philly to the list, bro. I ain't seen something in Philly. Philly? Boston? Bo- I don't know about Boston. Okay, I'm in. I have something that will change <laughs> my your girl, mind. My, girl, my girl's from Brooklyn, so. I'm so hey, Sasha Banks, ain't she mine from Boston? Mine from Memphis. No, she from Northern California. She got to stop lying, bro. She biracial, man. Hey, bro. She's, she's biracial. Bicoastal, that girl, biracial. That girl is oh, Snoop's cousin, right? correct? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. So. You said what now, young? All right, all right. I just wanted to. I, she, she's Snoop cousin, right? Yeah, yeah, she tell us every fucking day. Yeah, mm-hmm. every week. Like Brandy ain't your kin, folks. He, he don't. He, he he's J. not tapped. He he's tapped in, but he's not tapped in. But yeah, bro. Also, I, mean, yeah, I about to say um, I don't I don't watch wrestling, but I know that she related to them, and I know I know well, she related to him, and I know he's related to them, so. No, no, I'm saying that you right, but she don't tell us that. She just talk about Snoop. Like, I don't give a fuck about no Snoop. You related to Ray J. That's fire. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> related to Ray J and Daz. Right, that's better. Now I'm about to say you related to Daz. Like, like, you related to a lot of motherfuckers. Yeah. I had a joke. I'm going to leave that alone. But shouts out to Brandy. I, 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 knew, I knew that was coming. Bo- hey, hey. No. Boy, nah. I'm nah. leaving it alone. Uh-huh. Nope. Hey, no, yeah, I can't do it. It's, nope. it's been a week. I don't, I can't no, do sir. It. Yeah. Nope. yeah, no, nope. sir. No, nope. I about to say, will, will, will nope. we just talk about Fuck it before that. we went live? Yeah, nope, because it's been nope. a week. I gotta hey. remember what just happened. Hey, bro, so, yeah, I gotta leave it alone. Hey, bro, it's the reason I left that group chat this week, bro. Like, nah, I'll tell y'all why off air, but nah, bro. We, <laughs> no, some I shit know just, why. I, look, yeah, I gotta nah, lay nah, off nah, the jokes for a month. Yeah, nah, lay off them jokes, period. I'll tell you why. But some jokes, some some shit you just leave alone. <laughs> That's one of them. But uh yeah, bro. Now nah, all Northeast women, bro. It's a woman, bro. I don't care where she's from, honestly, Wait, bro. She she is she from LA. Run. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna go to her house and that got mold on the ceiling and the air matches on the floor? You wanna deal with that, Larry? I don't I don't judge people where they're from, bro. I judge she my is. big actions. Shit, they ain't got no action out here. That's why they live in rough. That's this is why I am friends with Nelson, my friend from New York, Banks, my friend from all over the place. Marce- Marcel, Marcel, Kansas City legend, apparently. You know, Missouri. Yeah, Missouri. I'm not talking about Kansas. I'm talking about you know Missouri. You know. Cause he is gonna say it ASAP. Oh, I know. So, yeah. he, he, I'm gonna, I'm a, I'm gonna, I'm gonna correct somebody that he's like, oh, nigga, bro, good shit. No, nigga, I'm not. I'm from Missouri. I'm not saying you guys. I'm just talking about a nigga just in general. How many people tell you from Kansas though, on a daily basis? Uh, on a daily basis, not a lot. But if I say a person like a um someone's performing that's coming here, they're like, shout out to Kansas City, Kansas. No, nigga, we're not mm-hmm. from there, bro. We're, we'll tell you, Kansas City, Missouri. Know. Don't let Lenny Shoes hear that. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we definitely got to set up that boxing match. We have to, bro. Hey, nigga. Hey, bro. Yeah, we setting up that boxing fight, Yeah, we, we got to set that up. Yeah. Hey, y'all hey, niggas. Can we go back to Southern women real quick? I just thought about something. For sure. Let's talk when about it. we say it Southern, are we adding Alabama, Kentucky, Oklahoma in? Kentucky is not. <laughs> boy. <laughs> boy. <laughs> Boy, hey, just because they got an accent, watch your mouth. <laughs> just because they got an accent, let's put the, up the geography. They ain't the Midwest, nigga. That's my, so my, what is it then? The South. South. Nigga. All right, all right, because right. right. we because we said we we said we had no jokes. Uh, we ran them jokes through the uh through the water, right through the ground, right? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Cause I gotta drive. I drive through that motherfucker all the time to come home. Let's talk about we it. We know. I know. Let's talk. Let's uh, you talk got about it. it. Go ahead. You got it. Look at look at. Look I, I, at I, I don't consider that. Kentucky the Midwest. I don't. Hey, that's the South. I don't consider Kentucky the South, bro. Then what the fuck the is it? Right there. Uh, the Midwest. 
That shit's nah, not. Nah, that's not the middle list, bro. That's the south, bro. How come it's not? How come it's not? That shit's the nether realm of America. Damn. Kentucky is the south, bro. What is good in Kentucky? Apparently, never mind. Hey, what is good in Kentucky? I was about to say something. Apparently, red expensive. Tanache, Ruby Rose, Brittany Ren, I can keep on going. But yeah, oh? <laughs> Brittany Ren is from Mississippi, bro. She from? I thought she was from Kentucky. No, she from Mississippi. I don't care so if Kentucky is part of the South, would you? So would Nothing you consider? Would, would you consider parts of Virginia and West Virginia? Yeah, they're right there. That right me, there. Me personally, I say Virginia is the South, but I to me, no, I consider to me East. Virginia is the last part of the South, and when you go up from Virginia, that's the East Coast. To, to me, me, to me, to me I let's say, get rid of Virginia. How about that? I, I agree. Well, can't. well Damn. now we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna get Chris Brown. So what like, Virginia uh, do? What Virginia he a blood do? Blood from man? Compton now. <laughs> he from yeah. He from Bompton. He, he from Bompton. Bompton yeah, excuse he, me. He, I'm not. He from he Virginia. Chris Brown. Man. That's the yeah, Brit, Brit, hey, that's, just, the, that's the Prince and Piru. What you mean? Just just <laughs> Louisville touches Cincinnati. How is Kentucky the South? I, I still consider Kentucky the South. That's bro. hey, let's pull up the Mason Dixon line, like Pop said. Let's, let's pull, pull this that, shit that, up. That, bro. That's because because literally, bro, literally, Cincinnati and Louisville is. If I had let a camera, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. I know is Antonio is Kentucky six. Wasn't Kentucky part of the Confederacy? Now yeah. you can have part, yeah. part, parts so of Kentucky considered the South. You can spread, South, you can, you, you, you can split, you can split it up. Parts mm. of Kentucky is the South. This year from mm. 1972, right here. This is the Mason Dixon line, bro. Well, someone, someone did say like Maryland is is the South. I don't consider some people South. consider Maryland the South, which is weird. No, nah, no, East. honestly, no, honestly, Maryland is low key kind of Southern because, like, at, down from Baltimore. Mm-hmm. Baltimore has, is like a weird pot of like Northeast people plus people from the South that go up there. But down from Baltimore, when you pass Baltimore and you go into a VA, that shit is the South, bro. See, that's why I feel it. like PA is the beginning of like the quote unquote East Coast. Me personally, because even with VA, if you listen to them niggas from VA, they sound like Memphis niggas. They stay, bro. From the South. They sound like South yeah, niggas, South bro. To me. Yeah, like I know they in the ACC and shit. Well, they were in the ACC, but man, that shit doesn't even mean nothing. No, no, I'm I'm just saying, just in general, for, for to give people an idea who may not know, like, bro, I feel like that shit, like PA and above, is the East Coast to me. And that's why I say Northeast women. Ah, man, I still I still consider like Maryland and in Virginia the East. Nah, that's, that's, the the that's the South. Nah, that's the South. That's just the yeah. East, bro. Yeah, it's the South. That's the South. Virg- Kentucky, I'm, Kentucky, Virginia, that's the South. Virginia East. for sure is the South. Maryland, that's up for debate. But hey, I, is, Ken- is Kentucky Central Tom? Yeah. yeah. Parts of them, yeah. Yeah, parts of So Kentucky, is, and that's crazy because literally, you I, you you were Swiss time zones driving through that bitch on the way to Memphis from Ohio. I swear to God. Yeah, that so, is true. The time zone change. I, you got to get through Louisville first, though, before the time zone change. Oh, so Louisville is, is, is still Eastern Standard Time, bro. Louisville and Cincinnati yeah. literally touches. It's it's a bridge. It's literally only a bridge that <laughs> that separates it. It's a yeah. bridge, literally. Yeah, and and that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, so if anything, the way they consider, you know, how they call Memphis and like Tennessee, like the Mid South and shit like that. That's yeah. what Kentucky is, bro. Like. No, they, they, no, 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 no parts of Kentucky, and, and, and that's why I said again, parts of Kentucky, I would consider to be the mid south south. The <laughs> whole state of Kentucky, fuck a Mason Dixon line, bro. I'm looking at it. the whole part, of the, bro, the whole part of Kentucky, the whole state. Man, no. How you gonna Yo. separate a state? Like, Trey, no. listen, man, Trey Youngin getting so comfortable with this podcast that he kind of promos Kentucky is the oh, last Kentucky, thing I ever would have thought, but I'm enjoying this, man. Kentucky, right. Kentucky, the bottom 10 and everything. <laughs> yeah, nah, listen. It's no, they are. Basketball. No, it's they are. Fuck Louisville no, and Texas basketball. With, with it's twisted. It's education, just, with health, with welfare, like they the bottom ten. Obviously, <laughs> with the welfare uh, for what we've seen this past week. Listen, man. Nah, it's it's, man, still, uh, it's uh, hey, it's fuck uh, Kentucky. You feel uh, me? Shout uh, recipes, Breonna Taylor. But yeah, fuck Kentucky, bro. I'm just saying that's the South. Okay, like, cool. I stand with Larry. Fuck Kentucky. Uh, fuck Kentucky. Fuck yeah, Kentucky's the South to me. They ain't got no tuition for certain schools out there. Hey, man. Yeah, so no, fuck, no, fuck. Car you can Nelsie, buy. you know how that I was just like no, let's call it no, let's call you can buy in Kentucky to Tercel. All right, all right. 
Hit the drop. <laughs> I got you. I was looking for it. as the goat, mm-hmm. greenest nigga of all time. Well, I'm green. I'm green for being honest. Hey man, nah. I'm bro. just being honest. I'm just being hey, honest. Man. What the fuck? Nah, bro. Yeah, you know what's bad. Personal. They all they do is take the federal funds because Mitch McConnell, bro. Yo, hey, if man. I could, if I could DDT Mitch McConnell, I would do it for free. <laughs> I want. Hey, what's his name? Robert DeSantis or whatever the governor oh, is of Florida. Governor of Florida. Florida. I want to DDT him on concrete. Doug, I would gorilla press him. Off Trump. The, Trump off the Jr. Yeah. Uh, I know we're going political, but fuck it. Y'all know we got education, those that are listening. We don't often do this, so y'all need to hear this. Hey, the people we talking about, bruh, just take a Louis V. Slugger and just hit you in the knees. I feel ah, like this. Ah, Louisville. I see what you did there. Bruh, <laughs> <laughs> don't want time, I put a Louisville don't ask Slugger. Me I put a Louisville Slugger through Mitch McConnell's temple, bruh. Hey, bruh, that nigga. He feeding him. He feeding hey, bruh. That a. Hey. His Listen. brain gonna be doing the Kai and I Joe when I'm done with him. Listen, Mitch McConnell. Uh, y'all know I don't, he gonna be pissing on himself by the I second by the second swing. All I'm gonna say is this: Pepperidge Farms and God remembers, bro. That's all I'm gonna say with him, bro. It's, that's it, bro. So you know, right, we can leave it at that, bro. Why is it that white people get to age and be like the biggest bands of the world? You know why? Because I mean, you would be fun. serious for thirty seconds. Because sure, go ahead. What people don't realize and take into effect is that when you do evil and put out bad energy in this world, you do everything you can to try to stay alive because you know what's going to happen when you when you leave here. This is why when people are like, oh, but he lived to be 77. Yeah, he lived to be 77, but guess what? He can't take his money with him, and you have to deal with the afterlife. Like, so, look, look, <clears> look, how, look how Mitch McConnell looks like Shinnok from Mortal Kombat. And then you look at like a white person like Steve Rifkin who look like he ain't do nothing bad and he about to turn 60. He like he, hey, he man. Don't even look. You can, yeah, you I can. didn't know that. When yeah. I was looking up, I'm like, damn, Steve Rifkin about to be 60? Mm-hmm. And Steve Rifkin don't look Steve Rifkin don't look 60 at all. Nope. Shout out to Steve. That's Rifkin. what I'll be saying. When you do good shit, we're gonna talk about Steve Rifkin later on in this podcast. We're gonna give you a nice musical history. You know what yeah. I mean? Because I, I, I did my homework, show you where podcast. That's that's what it's about. Absolutely. Hey man. Don't worry, yeah. I'm gonna break down them deals later. Sure, you want like Alex Jones, my fault, Larry. Alex mm-hmm. Jones, y'all know, is 42, right? He like he's 60. A lot of people mm-hmm. don't know that. Like, <laughs> but yeah, he yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, you you can tell, bro. Like, it's just it's just why you gotta do good in life, bro. No matter who you are, what race you are, just do good, yeah, bro. Sure. Look at look at Ric Flair now. He's showing his shit. Hey, hey, listen, bro. <laughs> Set the matchup, Amp. Set the matchup. Yo, up, nigga. Hey, look, hold on, you, stop, you stop. talking a lot of shit for a nigga I don't know, bro. I I really will see you, bro. Hey. I'm I'm being like I'm being, being dead ass serious right now, bro. Like being de- dead ass. Nigga, you talking a lot of shit right now, bro. Hey Lenny, Lenny. I'm like hey, nigga, we gonna set it up. You, hey, I, really you. I ain't you got nothing ass, against nigga. you. I ain't got nothing against you, bro. But hey, we, we promoters around here, bro. Hey. Let's set it up, bro. No, fuck right. him, bro. Let's I'll sit. Me. I'll smack him. <laughs> no, we're going to do it in a boxing match. Old days. Like the used to do back in the nigga. day. He's a like like the- fuck him. Get this nigga out of here, bro. Ban him, bro. Ban him. Get him out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Get him out of here, bro. Bro, bro, say some disrespectful shit, bro. Like, I'm, you I'm, can't I'm, say some disrespectful shit. I'm right now, bro. Like, I'm, I'm just... Calm down, son. Bro, get this bitch ass nigga out of here, dog. Fuck him. I can't. He's nigga. a loyal fan. Nah, he, nah, fuck him. He can eat a dick. Fuck him. Whoa. <laughs> All right, time out, T Mark. Time out. Yes, put, put Mark. I'm about to say, bro, come on now. Yo, this had is like we're going to touch on shirt on? Oh. Yeah, fuck him, bro. We talking about Kyle Laurie, bro. He going to the bench. Nah, dog. Oh, I know bitch that. Bitch ass nigga. He's a hoe. Who Kyle Lori? What'd he do to you? No, nah, I'm hey. talking about this fuck nigga Lenny Trees. Nah, my fault my ass, bitch ass nigga. When I see you, nigga, I'm smacking you. <laughs> All right. You know what come with that when you say that to grow man. And I mean everything I stay on too. Hey. All right. All right. <laughs> That's why I, 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 I 
I've seen this and movie before. And y'all saying all right, like I, I if I got a smack a nigga and jump on that wheel, oh, fuck I'm you, not bro. saying nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm let me start, Mister B. And go, hey, Amp, only you could help this, bro. You got to be like Mister Farrakhan. Only Amp can squash this. <laughs> only Amp can squash this. Bruh. Oh, Only in America. Lenny Tree. Fuck you. And Farrakhan is crazy. <laughs> hey, come on. Hey, what's the next topic? We we, we back get on Halloween. Hey, bro. <laughs> this is Halloween. But hold on. <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> this is Halloween. Can I show y'all this TikTok? For sure. Show. This Go is why I'm laughing my ass. Bro, ass this bitch ass nigga, bro. He got my shit. No, we talking about women. Bro. Be quiet. No, now. my bad. My hey, bad. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> You scared? Yeah, like, that's a good woman yeah. right there. Show that shit. Dad, that's I'm a good party. Dad, dad, that's a good bet. Take him over on Mellow Score and turn against OKC. Like now see, you gotta cover your eyes. Huh? <laughs> I ain't see this video. Whoa! Oh, whoa! Shit. What is this? Right, right. right. like, what is this, bro? Banks, what are you doing? Don't Look worry at, about it. Banks have Banks having a. Uh, all right, Banks, you a weird Banks bro. found a weird side of TikTok. Banks, hey, hey bro. Hey. That's I weird. <laughs> Though, God, I like pickle juice too. Fuck it. You want to be on pickle juice? I go buy her something right now. Thanks. I'll lead this motherfucking Thanks. podcast. Thanks. Go Thanks. Take, take help. Get you some help. Go ahead. My bro. Halloween, kids. There you go. You know what? Actually, I'm sorry. My this may be uh, TMI. My girl drink. My girl likes pickles too. So thanks if you know. Nothing wrong with pickles, man. I'm about to say mine though too. Hey, bro, ain't nothing wrong with pickles. It's just. just <laughs> he's he's my dad throw you, bro. You being sick. Thank you, sick brother, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. Easy. <laughs> hey, bro. That's the name of the episode, bro. Dark Easy. side of the top, bro. <laughs> Easy cowboy. That's. that's hey, that's the name. Nah, that's the name of the episode up there. Easy cowboy. <laughs> Hey, that's a simple. I banks. I know you got a picture of you with some cowboy gear or something. But that's easy. What type of freak nigga you think I am? <laughs> I ain't never dressed like that for no Halloween. I'm talking about a cowboy's cowboy jersey, 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 nigga. <laughs> oh, motherfucker! I'm about to say, you know, look at where your freak party. bull mind is going to, nigga. I ain't <laughs> seen this dress. Banks dress up as Jim Ross for Halloween. <laughs> No, I'm trying to be so no, not towards you, but I'm trying not to let the jokes go. I'm just like, bro, yeah, don't don't feed the venom. I was just gonna say, Banks dressed like John Wayne is crazy. Like, so like the sun's on them. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. They were both racist. Let's talk about it. Hey, (laughs) sun's on. Open your third eye. Let's talk about it. Hey, the fact that he said that the N words need to have an N word is crazy. <laughs> hold on, whoa, whoa, because I, I I seen it, but I ain't read. Y'all know I don't read. Nah, this my shit. son. Hold on, hold on. Let me. Let, I'm gonna pull it up. Like, yeah. He, he said up. he said them niggas need a nigga. That's what he said. <laughs> I'm gonna pull it up. Okay. This is we. Hold we, on right we there, pal. Me and Nelson are not jail bullshit. Jail that's, that's yes. Yeah, I'm sorry. Know, not a type I'm sorry, but him saying that that's hilarious. Oh, that might be the title. <laughs> That's hilarious. Put his sons on their nigga. On. That's what he I said. Put. He said that Dan Marley wasn't gonna work, and them niggas need a nigga. That's exactly what right, he right, said. I got you right That's now. That's fucking hilarious, bro. This man said, and I quote. So I'm a, I'm reading and Watson was fourth in as many years. So Earl Watson was playing. He said after the loss, Suns majority owner Robert Sarver entered the coach's locker room. This is from ESPN. Uh, shout out to Baxter Holmes. He said, you know, this, and this is what Robert Sarver of the Phoenix Suns owner said, you know, and I quote, excuse me, because I am I didn't say this. So if you listen to this podcast, you think I said that shit. You good, bro. You ain't got to just yeah, I'll, I'll say it, you know, I'll say it you know, for you. I don't give a fuck. Hey, a y'all motherfuckers better subscribe, like, and all that shit. He said, y'all want to hear everything in context, stupid motherfuckers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he said, has... And I quote, you know, why does Draymond Green get to run up the court and say N-word? Sarver, who is white, allegedly said, repeating that N-word several times in a row. And you Earl Watson was that. like, you can't say Earl that. Earl Watson, you can't say that. Who is black and Hispanic? I didn't know Earl Watson was half Hispanic. Shout out to yeah. him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shout out to Earl. Memphis is a legend. I can see it. He said, why? Replied, Draymond Green says the N-word. And Earl Watson said, you can't fucking say that. Uh... So just, well, I'm going to read along a little bit. They've interviewed more than 70 former and current Suns employees throughout Sarver's 17-year tenure. 
describing a toxic and sometimes hostile workplace under Robert Sarver. He's used racially insensitive language repeatedly in the office. They recounted conduct where they felt it was inappropriate and misogynistic. He once passed around a picture of his wife in a bikini to employees and speaking about times his wife performed oral sex on him. Bam. What type of weird? Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's not the best <laughs> part of this this whole shit. Nelson. Even once asking one woman whether he owned her to determine whether she worked for the Suns. Fam, can you please read that LaMarcus Aldridge section? That is the funniest shit ever. <laughs> oh, yeah. And of course, he said, I never did it. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He said, hold on. I'm going to do it one time. He, he acknowledged, before I get to LaMarcus Aldridge, but... Sarver did acknowledge using the one word many years ago, once many years ago. On one occasion, a player used the N-word to describe the importance of having each other's back, Sarver said to his attorneys. I responded by saying, I would say the N-word, but I would say that we're in the foxhole together. <laughs> and the assistant coach approached me a short time after and told me that I shouldn't say the word, even if I were recording somewhere else. I immediately apologized and haven't said it ever again. The N-word has never been a part of my vocabulary. Why? So let's go into... <laughs> LaMarcus Yo, Aldridge. this man's a sick. No, just wait. Just wait. Oh, just wait. Wait, wait, wait. Just wait. We ain't in danger. This is a very good article. He uh, said we ain't in the danger. So we get worse. Holmes. Uh, we're going to get over here. I'm um, just, you know, this is a long article, by the way. Oh, the buff- let's go. Hold on. Because I'm getting to LaMarcus Aldridge. This is the, this is the infamous uh, quote. Sarver once used the N-word when trying to explain to a staffer why he preferred hiring Lindsey Hunter over Dan Marley as head coach in 2013, according to a high-level executive who heard the remark. Hunter was a first-year Suns player development coordinator, while Marley was in his fifth year as Suns associate head coach. These N-words need an N-word, Sarver told the staffer of his largely black team, according to the executive. (laughs) He said these N-words need an N-word. All right, let's go to LaMarcus Aldridge. Please read this LaMarcus Aldridge part. Hold on, wait wait a minute. Can I read it? Because Banks got it pulled up on the... The team knew that Aldrich had young children in Texas and that playing near them was appealing. During the recruitment, Sarver remarked to two basketball operations staffers that the Suns needed to have local strippers impregnated by NBA players so those players would have children in the Phoenix area and feel obliged to be closer to them, giving the Suns a potential edge in free agency. (laughs) Wow. Wow. It's crazy. Now, if you want to really do the science, y'all remember when that video came out last year of old girl, uh, what's her name? Hey, right there, Summer Jam screen. (laughs) Yeah. Y'all think it's a coincidence. (laughs) Hey, man. He's a sicko. For him to say that, bro, just all willy-nilly. But look at who he's doing this for, bro. Like, like, it's all sick. Don't get it twisted. It's all sick. But for Lamarcus, all like, <laughs> bro, Lamarcus, all just like he just go home, go play, imagine, home, go home. Like, imagine bro. telling, imagine a white man telling the black staff, yeah, he needs some hoes, bro. Yeah, get him some hoes. <laughs> what, what, what hoes? What hoes are they looking for? Telling hmm. Lamarcus Aldridge that he needs hoes. In different area codes, but yes. specifically the Phoenix area code is nuts. <laughs> Yo, man said you need to have some cheering in Phoenix so they can feel obliged to play close to close to where them cheering at, bro. He said we finna. He, not only do y'all need a nigga, the niggas need some little niggas, bro. This is yeah, hilarious, bro. bro. Having a stripper for him is crazy. Yo. Like, bro, what did you? That nigga sent the fleet out, bro. Must, bro. Yeah, summer jam screen. This, y'all remember this moment? Uh huh. Bro, these much? These two birds. Hey man, that's what's up, baby. You're talking about? He be talking about them type of floozies. Those, those are (laughs) them floozies. Them Jezebels. Hey man, since we since we here, fuck it. Seven. Nah, since we here. And since we already know what Shorty did, Freddie Gibbs. <laughs> <sighs> he getting barred up. <laughs> from, from, from one, from one, from, bruh. And the men over 30 is, the, the, the men over 30 years old with some positions are embarrassing. Bam. Wait, over He's 30. getting barred up, bruh. 30 how old, barred up. Google how old Freddie Gibbs is. 40 years old. old. He's literally 40? He's 40 he old. years old. Is he 40? He's 40 years old. Bro, he's getting barred up, bro. 
as Teddy Ray said in his infamous skit. You 36 <laughs> and above. Son, what like bro, you talking about like you like bro, you talking about your your PS5 and all type of dumb shit like you can really academics bar you up. Look bro. look at how look at how much shit we did that bonus episode Thursday. It was a nice cool little bonus episode. Look how much shit has popped off since then, son. Like what is what is going on? Gibbs yeah. like he 39, but still. It's staying. It's close. It enough. don't matter. It's exactly. Peace out, Pops. All right, Pops, man. You have a good night, man. All right, Pops. Come back to this conversation because you're going to be dying laughing. Bruh. Bro, you 39 and you talk like you talk you inviting academics to your to your stand, bro. He 39, he talking like a 15 year old, bro. A hey, 14 year old. Nigga, like, what? Bro, he getting paid, bro. Going, academics. I was going back and forth with yeah, a grown man on Twitter, bro. Man. This is my I'm thing. Talking about academics. Shout out okay. to academics. No, fuck that cornball ass cointel pro ass nigga. No. There you go. That's Hell the word no. I was looking for. I like Hell academics. No. <laughs> Hell no. Cause how right, old is academics? Twenty two. Nah, he's like thirty. Uh, he like oh, damn. He like he like yeah. He like my age. Like yeah, Mar- he got like no fucking 30, way, boy. Hold on. Ain't no goddamn way in hell. No, he yeah. is. He, no, like d- dead ass. That nigga's like 38, cause 31, cause like he was 28 or so. That boy 30. He 30. He's more than 91. Yeah. yeah. An embarrassment. Yeah, you, you can't be 22 with a name like Langston, bro. Nah, that nigga's fucking. <laughs> nah, he definitely 30. He's 30. His mother definitely lived in Flatbush. Hey, man. No, I ain't shouting that nigga out, man. What? All right, Marcel, since you want to be devil's advocate, you know, side baby and all when, that shit. When Please. I'm never, when I'm never not devil's advocate. Oh, you, you a I sick mean, nigga, but continue. You should, uh, you should take, you should take notes from what Joe Budden did. I don't think you want to be devil's advocate. No, no, he, no, he don't. I know. No, he don't. We, no, we, no, we, we ain't bringing it up. Mm-mm, we ain't no, bringing no, it up. No, we can't leave that alone. That might be, a, no, that might be another name that has been from the podcast. <laughs> no, he I'll don't. Never be him. <laughs> Please no. don't do that to him, bro. <laughs> Once again, over Ted years old, it's been a long week for y'all, bro. Hey, bro, nah, but nah, Marcel, I'm gonna give you a minute. Tell me why we shouldn't bash academics. And I'm gonna come back with a with a argument for you. Go ahead. Uh, with me, I feel like me personally, I like academics because like he don't take no bullshit. Like he he, he will bar a nigga up. He like he did with Meek Mills. If you see, he's doing with Freddie Gibbs. Me personally, I like academics because he don't let nobody just just talk shit on him. That's the reason I like him. Um. That's yeah. That's the main reason I like that. All right, so let me ask you. He stand up for himself. He stand up for himself. Like like anybody else, they would just probably just take that shit and like, man, whatever. Okay, so let me ask you. Let me ask you you a question. You know why he stand up for himself? Hold on, I I got you, Nelson. Hold on. Let me ask you a question. So Marcel, if you was working, you know, you just in KC, right, just doing your thing, bro, and you get into it with a nigga, right, and you want to literally, you know, it's self-explanatory, right, right, but. You know he the police. Ah, are you gonna go out your way to attack somebody that you know is police? I see no. what you're doing there. I see what you're doing there. You call you call Aki the, the police. He is what? Yeah. What? Duh! Duh! Not, like. even, not even that, bro. It's somebody. My fault. Excuse me. That's somebody who ain't never. I don't think that's somebody who ain't never been punched in the mouth before. And that's another thing, but that's the thing though. Like when you, if you notice his activities and just how he moves, but it's clear that he is connected to the feds. Like I'm not saying, like I'm not saying, like he's just an informant, like his man's was. But I'm just saying, like you can tell, bro. Like that's a that's a conversation we're gonna have later. We can have it now because we we'll talk about rolling loud and shit like that. But bro. You have to know what you're dealing with, bro. So again, that's why I'm even shaking my head even harder at Gibbs because not only are you old, but you old enough to know when somebody the police, bro. So it's like, why are you even engaged? He barred up with this nigga, bro. And that's my thing. Like, I wouldn't even get that nigga time a day. You feel me? Like, I would just let that nigga go on with his life, bro. Because listen, it's gonna be plenty of niggas that still. Go on academics, Twitch and shit, and all. You know, I ain't knocking him, man. But he, he, in my eyes, he the police. So I'm not finna give him no time of day, bro. Like that's a fed Listen, in my man. book. Listen, like, no. Nah. You seen, you seen, you seen how? Uh, well, which is funny. It's one person we gonna mention later. 
you see how Vlad was acting, and then when when said person pressed him up, you see how different he was acting after that, right? Exactly. But here's I'm the thing saying, about bro. this nigga ac- academic stuff, bro. His come up was literally like Chicago rappers, bro. Yeah. Like, yep. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, that was entertaining. That was police shit, bro. Yeah. Like, that shit wasn't entertaining. Cause, bro, <laughs> he started calling the shy rack and the drill scene and all that shit, and the media ran with it. The Grim Reaper. Yeah. yeah. We got everybody. Him and, him and college kids, bro. Them niggas got them niggas all fucked up, bro. That's the, that's the thing, folks. Like, you can't. You can't be glorifying this shit and then doing all this shit and you ain't in it, bro. Like, like that's like me being from Memphis, right? And making blogs talking about, yeah, man. So what's going on with this Cho and Woo shit, man? Like, hey, let's talk about it for a second, guys. The fuck? Like, no, nah, nigga. And it's funny know. you realize you realize he don't talk about that shit either. No, cause he, cause he know yeah. them niggas is from his doorstep. They can Dem- easily yeah, pull Dem- up. Dem- he live in, he live in, I think he live in Woodbridge, bro. Woodbridge is not. Yeah. Yeah, he in New Jersey, ain't he? Yeah, Woodbridge. Yeah, that's that's a that's a couple bridges so, away. They so gonna, he feels they, they gonna pay that they gonna pay that toll and beat the shit out of him. So yeah, he, he feels safe, right. but that's what I'm saying. Like, and again, when he's doing his shit with complex or whatever, of course he's rolling with security. Of course he's rolling with police to protect him. So a nigga ain't a nigga know. All right, he a rat, bro. He a fit. I'm not gonna go fuck with him, bro. That's the thing. Like, I can't respect somebody who is talking about another culture from the comfort of his home like that bro like and especially when you are antagonizing the shit bro it's one everybody got their own opinion on shit <clears throat> that's life but this nigga is literally egg this shit on bro like mm-hmm. you realize niggas have lost their lives over shit that's on them as grown men but we gotta hold him to the fire for spreading that propaganda bullshit too like that nigga is like the fox news of rap bro like yep. Nah, fuck him, bro. Like, I can't, nah. Ain't no way in hell I'm supporting no fed-ass nigga like that, bro. Like, and like, also, too, Marcel, bro, like, it's better people out here. Like, hell, if you want to talk about this shit, you can do it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, we in the era now where I don't need fucking academics. I don't need any of these weirdos that talk about rap, because most of them are fucking weirdos, and we talking about two weirdos right now being, I, I love Freddie Gibbs music. I love feature music. These niggas, let's call the spade a spade. They weirdos. This is weirdo behavior. You too old. You got kids. You making too much money to be moving like this. And and Marcel, here's another thing too, right? Mm-hmm. That I'm gonna I'm gonna say because we always talk about you a young nigga, but you you old enough to know this. You old enough to remember when niggas used to get in scraps and phase and shit. That shit went on the internet, bro. You just had to hear about it from somebody. Yeah. Yeah. This nigga is literally posting evidence of shit, bro. And getting niggas jammed up, bro. Like, again, I hold the grown men who did this to themselves accountable, but I'm also holding him accountable for spreading this shit. That's just like if... Okay, I'm gonna be funny, right? I'm gonna be funny. That's like if you went to... If you met up with Lenny Trees, right? I'm just joking. But not nah, for real. If you met up with Lenny Trees, right? And you whooped his ass, right? Just as an example. And then later on, Lenny Trees had somebody record the shit and was like, hey, man, I'm going to press charges against this nigga, bro. He'd be a bitch, right? Because he <laughs> wanted to smoke, He'd be a right? huge bitch like he is right now. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I ain't say that. But you get what I'm saying? I'm selling everything he said. Like, all right, bro. But you get, but you get my point, though, right? Say to them, daughters, the hominy hushes. Huh? My fault. My fault. You going to church okay. right now? <laughs> nah, look at your look at your man. Look at your man's look at your man's, bro. I sit there in the group chat. He doing all that for an interview. Man, nobody's playing with your bitch ass name, nigga. Shut the fuck up. Oh, no, Min- Noriega Suzuki. Who's that? <laughs> Something smart to a pimp. Yo, man, you done broke the first room. Min- Noriega Suzuki. Here, I'm not playing with your name, nigga. Your name ain't when your boss here, walk in. Right, hold on. <laughs> I'm just up in that. Lenny, I'll fuck with you, bro, but I got to put you in timeout for a minute because this shit about to start getting out of hand. Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah. I got love for your purse, meaning that I love you. All right. Bro, I, can all right, all right I can stop rapping now. I can stop rapping now. I'm listening to, to the Tupac the whole time. 
Nigga having a nigga having a spiritual project pet right now. <laughs> yeah, bro. Got 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 gotta try to like get it away from Marcel and his um you know his temper right now. I'm sorry, right, man. I'm good, man. But nah, but but Marcel, you see what I'm saying? Like how you be like, damn, he the feds, he's snitching, he police in that scenario. It's the mm-hmm. same shit he doing, but not only is he doing it against like one person, he's doing it against doing with every, a, yeah. a whole city, bro. So I get what you're saying. Okay, yeah, he don't take no shit, but that's because niggas ain't willing to take the risk because they know if they do it, they're gonna get jammed up. Like you, fam. A video of academics happens, bro. It's they the feds is on whoever that is, bro. They already know. And why would you mess up something, especially if you know you still have people who have other shit going on? You fucking them up now. Uh-huh. So yeah, that's why ain't nobody touched academics, bro. And ain't nobody probably gonna touch him. But yeah, he, he, he's, he's well but, protected. <laughs> but eventually, <laughs> JFK has shown anybody can be touched, though. That's true. And somebody's gonna take the risk and be like, yeah. "Fuck it," and get him. I'm not saying get them like it ain't gonna be Freddie. Nah, no, (laughs) I ain't saying get them like killer or nothing like that. But it's somebody, some young rapper is gonna want some clout or whatever. It it probably will be every young rapper because these. I'm sorry to cut you off, but these young dudes are wild, man. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a young nigga who gonna come through, and you know what I'm saying. That's what they gonna do, bro. Like I'm about saying that. I'm about saying when me saying that it's not gonna be Freddie. You feel me? That ain't no. That ain't no disrespect there, Freddie. You feel me? Just honest and truth. I feel like Freddie realized that he got too much to lose to even, you know, what I'm saying physically do something to that mind. And maybe this back and forth is just funny. But me personally, why even waste your time with it? No, nah, but like, you look like a goof. Yeah, like you argue. That's like that's like me going down and talking to my nephew and having a real live argument. With my four year old nephew, bro. I like, clothesline. Like, 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 I have my, you little big head motherfucker. I will literally, like, I, I, I will hit you with the clothesline from hell. Uh, <laughs> look at this. Hell. This man don't watch wrestling, but he remembers certain moves. <laughs> right. The real violent ones. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, that, that's a real violent move. But it really is. The clothesline no. from hell, Triple H spine buster. Oh. See, 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 see. <laughs> that's what he was watching. Shit. Nigga pulling out his arsenal from here comes the pain. Look at this nigga, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he got the, the WrestleMania 2000 arsenal. What you talking about? Uh, nigga pulling out no mercy moves. But yeah, bro, like, that's what I'm saying, though, fool. Like, Just bring it. All right. I, hey. I, I have a funny story about that game. Go ahead. We here. Fuck it. Go ahead. <laughs> we got to start talking about goofy shit, so let's get to the fun shit. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so I, is... I, I want to I don't want to talk about future. Talking about you hang. I'd rather hang with Jada. Fuck nah, future. Nah, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Nah, say him, this. That's a future. Bird, no, I still love future, future. Stop trying to be the same age as these young women that you've been with, bro. Act your age, bro. bro. Mm, yeah. Not your future. shoes. Uh, definitely act your age. Future, bro. Go, go love your kids, man. <laughs> All 10 of them. I ain't gonna salute that we know no, about hey. to say, salute to your future, bro. <laughs> the, and the, the people we talking about, we love, bro. As far as they music, but yeah. it's oh, like, yeah. just, they acting like clowns. Like but, you, when we, you see clown shit, you address clown shit. Okay, before. listen. The bet, the, the best rappers are cornballs. If you really think, bro, yeah, absolutely. Meek. Oh, he's definitely a. Cornball. We ain't even gonna. Well, I'm gonna say, bro. <laughs> future. Oh, no, Gives the but gives. Yeah, that, I'm sorry, you. Yeah, you that, in that there comment. Now, bro. I stand with Jada. Come on, bro. I can't. I can't even listen to Alfredo no more, nigga. Like this is. I can't. It's just, but it's honestly, bullshit. on my end, this is like I said. Like I said in the group chat, and I said yesterday, like, yo, when do you decide I'm too old for this shit? Why is they it don't. growing up bad? They got like, money. bro, that's what I'm saying. But why is growing up bad? Like, nigga, y'all blessed to be over 35 Come years on. old. God bless his soul. Nipsey ain't bro. even here, bro. Nipsey died at my <laughs> age. And he was mature than y'all, bro. Like what he you slapped mean? the shit out of a nigga before he left. Yeah, he yeah. did. CIP yeah, King did. Nip. He was slap. helping people and he gone, bro. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, you don't ever want to question God. That's not the, the topic <laughs> I'm trying to go with for it. That's not the conversation. Yeah. I'm trying to have. But you I get what you're point, saying. Like, bro, yeah. You get to a certain age, you start realizing being that gives, bro. You made out like Gary Indiana. That's that place is hell on earth. And then you made it. You live out here in L.A. You doing well as a successful rapper. You about to be 40. Like, bro, why not just sit the fuck down, count your blessings, thank God. And keep giving us good music. But see, even even with his contemporaries, that's another reason why I hold him to the fire. Because even if you don't like his contemporaries' music, you don't see J. Cole doing no shit like this. You don't see Sean. You don't see Wap. 
Wale years ago was known for Twitter for being a Twitter nigga just arguing with everybody. But bro, eventually, yeah, he 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 grew up, and that's what I'm saying, bro. Like this nigga is arguing with a fucking troll, bro. Like, and it's like why, like nigga. You can't give a troll no time of day, bro. Because they once a uh-uh. troll knows they got you, bro. Yep, they got you. They and got you talking you. about Marcel. Yeah, Mar- Marcel? Thank you. This is this is you. The whole time, time Lenny just fucking fuck with him. you, bro. He actually yeah. fuck with the show, bro. Now I got to do damage control and shit. Yeah. I'm about to say because he showed he showed just trolling you, boy. You taking this shit to heart. That's right. what I'm saying, bro. Like you, can, but you can't. You that's why you know. So, now, bro, if he says some off the wall. Listen, when well, he, he said, did. "Hold on," when he started off with the "damn, I'm disappointed in how you look," that's some weird yeah, shit. Yeah, that's that funny. was some weird shit. Okay, but it's funny. Weird. It's it's hilarious, but it's weird, and we called him out on. It. But after that, bro, come on, bro. And that's the thing too. I ain't even defending nigga. That nigga might be cool as fuck, bro. That I'm just saying, bro. You, you can't fall for a troll, bro. Because here's the thing: we all troll each other. And <laughs> when I be like Marcel, I hate young niggas. You be like, come on, bro. It's a joke, bro. Like it's not. But we know I, each other though, so I like. I, I, I get, I get that too. But what I'm saying is, bro, you can't give a troll nothing, bro, because they gonna run with the shit, bro. Mm-hmm. That's, that's just. That's just. That's just is what. And like again, niggas talking about. all oh, wonder what future got to say with this. He's a troll, so he's like, oh, I'd rather be with Jada, and that's why he did this corny ass shit. Like, nigga, unless you finna give me a grown contemporary album, bro, like, you trying to, like, why are you not making the music that you could be making as an adult, but you want to sound <laughs> like Lil Uzi? You want to make, rest in peace, but you want to make collab tapes with Juice World and shit. Like, come on, bro. Right. Your nah. music has to reflect where you are right now if you're a great artist. You got to start telling me about right now. Niggas is not in the club. With females, with jewelry, and all that shit, you know why? Because they're getting robbed because people are really out here hungry. That th- and that's my and that's my thing. Like even with the greats, right? The the ones that are up there for real, like Pusha T. Why are you being a chatty patty, bro? Thank you, <laughs> Drake. Self explanatory. <laughs> so you ain't gonna get it to him. Kanye, nah, my- like, bro, like this whole. But that's the thing, like people, and I, and I'm gonna say it. People really know that the youth follow trends, they follow movements, they want to be accepted. And they prey on this shit because it's easy to do with these little niggas. And they follow these trends until it ain't a trend no more. So it's like, bro, like, why are you even engaging with shit? Like, Kanye's like, what, 43? Something like that? Yeah. Yeah. Why are you still talking about the youth, the youth, the youth, nigga? No. Listen, bro. I'm, that's all I'm saying, bro. Like, I, I can't, I can't with these niggas, bro. And it's like, damn, like every day it's still like, damn. I just, I, I can't listen to these niggas' music. If I, if I go back and listen to some future, it's literally old future because this nigga now still talking like he 18 years old, bro. Like, I can't do this shit. I'd like, rather hang with Jada. Mind look what it might say. Talk about what? That's the main thing I said. <clears throat> Don't talk about that. Ahead, Trey. Nah, I was just uh, shit. I I fell off from him, and not saying that you know y'all know man, all I do is smoke. But when the mind, you know, every time every song, then every song we be talking about popping the pill, sipping lean, doing this, doing that. That mind came out and said, "Yeah, I don't need to do drugs like that for real." Exactly. This the, this the nigga y'all follow. Huh. But that's Thank the you. thing. But these niggas still pulling up, still doing shit because they hear this nigga and treat that shit like gospel, bro. Like it's not. That's what I'm saying, bro. There's a conversation. God damn shit. He about to be 38 in like two weeks. There's a conversation. I'm going to say this, bro. And I don't mean no disrespect to anybody that this may apply to. This is just real facts, bro. Listen, bro. We got to have a conversation about niggas putting up pedestals for niggas like, and putting them on these platforms. Like, bro, go talk to your male figure in your life, bro. And if you ain't got a male figure... Don't let it be these days, bro. Like, Turn that shit way the fuck up, bro. If your male figure is one of these goofy ass niggas that's 38 years old acting like they 17, them niggas ain't no OG, they a bitch, bro. I'm just kidding. You, gotta, you, you, gotta, you, gotta put, you gotta put the ghost face motherless child beat over this part, bro. <laughs> that's why I'm glad my pops is in my life. 
Well, I'm That's glad mine was too. Rest in peace. Sometimes I even, feel even me, like a fatherless child. Even me losing my father at 15, it yeah. was enough for me to learn up until that point. And even without my pops, I still had people in my life, bro. But even if I didn't, you still have, as a man, got to realize the route you're going to take in life, bro. And following these goofy ass niggas, bro. I hey, shit. If you follow these goofy ass niggas, you'll be out here in the club with goofy. a heart with a heart shaped mm -hmm. haircut, talking about <laughs> why you being weird to me. Like, come on, bro. Like the, the problem is that's the problem with a lot of people with our, our region with they with guidance. Like they don't want to take they don't even want to take like the guidance. They don't care to listen. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because they see these social media platforms, the bro, thing. and they make this shit their goals, bro. Like, why your why is someone else's relationship your goal? Your goals. Shout, shout out to my mom and dad. That ain't my fucking relationship goal, nigga. Yeah, Why? Part. Like, what worked for them ain't gonna work for me, nigga. Here's like, another I, example. Shit, I had to learn. I had to learn that when I was younger too. Mm -hmm. Shit, I learned that in the midst of my relationship now. Like Damn. they they did what they did to get me here. Now I gotta do what my girl to get exactly, and my woman to bro. get. My kids there, and it the, the trend goes from on and on and on. And listen, the problem is that some cats just don't. Some of these younger dudes, like even the people our age, Banks and I, like Banks and I've had, like I'm not gonna go into it, but like we've had talks about like talking to people younger than us that we know, and they don't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we 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 all the same. Age, listen, basically, like, like we all the same age group, but like there's people younger than us or in our age group that don't want to listen. Like no, mm -hmm. that's what I'm saying, bro. Listen. Like. And that's the thing too. Like I'm not knocking nobody, bro. But at, at some point, shit just gotta get old, bro. It don't because everything is so fast for these fucking morons. You feel me? Like <laughs> they got everything in the palm of their hand. So it's just like, oh well, I got the text message from this female, this sucky bitch. I got this deposit or whatever. That's cool and all. But why don't you? It's the same thing I say about a lot of motherfuckers today. Why don't you just shut the fuck up and just work? How about that? You, hey, I'm gonna say something. This is a shameless plug too, but you said the realest shit on Random Max, bro. And I'll say it here, bro. Because these niggas be following these chicks on IG and be like, oh, woo -woo. at the end of the day, number one, Shorty still works. She has a job somewhere. You don't know this, but she has a job somewhere. And number two, and more importantly, bro, I don't care if she got 10 million followers or 100 followers. If I know who I am, I can bag her. It, that's mm. just life. Like, and these niggas be trying to do the most to just get these women, bro. It's like, bro, what she is she get... showing you on camera? Oh, my girl showed me because we getting tickets to Snow and Lego. That's why. Because you're on camera. My girl over here dancing and shit. Oh, I'm on camera. My fault, is. Nah, <laughs> they hear you. They hear you. And they, uh, they see me like waving. They're like, what you looking hey, at? Hey. hey. Queen. He, Banks said, what's going on, Queen? Now nah, she happy because we're going to Snow and Lego. Because long story, long story short, we were supposed to go two years ago, but then the pandemic happened, so they canceled the concert. I got oh, you. It's a Snow and Lego concert. Yeah, we were supposed to go in April 2020, but they, okay. the pandemic so, happened. Not the music so. either. <laughs> hey, shout out to shout out to shout out to couple shit, man. This is what the fuck I'm talking about, man. So you could be like Nelson, man. You feel? Me? Thank you. You could be like Nelson. Go to a bro. new city. You and feel me? But work life. at work. Be with your spouse. Raise your kids if y'all got some kids and shut the fuck up. Fuck this up. why I love K Dot, bro. This is why I'm starting to love K Dot even more than I have since his whole entire career. Bro, we don't see this nigga. He don't tweet shit. He get on little guest appearances this year. He go be with his wife and kid, bro. And shut the fuck up. And shut the fuck up. And don't do shit. The only time you see this nigga is when someone else is taking a picture of him. Yep. Mm. Like his nephew. That's all. That's the last time we seen him before the video came out. The last yeah, time we like, seen him, this nigga was holding a fucking Blues Clues toy, <laughs> watching cartoons. But little kids I'm like, man, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. That's all you want to do is just be left alone, like. But, but that's why he that's why he's the and that bit that's why he's the goat. <laughs> he's the goat. And for all the jokes, y'all know the jokes I have about Cole. Cole do the same shit, bro. He just do his show. Listen, man, J. Cole, J. Cole dresses like how I want to dress when I want to come to work. Like I want to show up to work in sweatpants and fucking crocs. Fam. But that's why I, he be that's doing why that. Like he just be chilling, and you know what I'm saying? Just like 
he go do his job and leave. But see, that's, that's why I'm way. learning to respect Cole too. Not even because of that, but also when you really look at it, it's like I can respect if your music not for me, if and you a stand up dude, because he just he just live his life, bro. Like when I seen him duck Brittany Renner this week, that shit was hilarious. <laughs> what he did? <laughs> no, she because you know she um she on the media back- run, yeah. She'd be backstage interviewing for Rolling Loud. Wow. So she tried to get him. That nigga looked. He said, hey, shout Rolling Loud and walk the fuck off. <laughs> he already knew what time it was. So since we hear about Rolling Loud, too, let's talk about it. Let's She's talk about it. pro, but I just need to ask her some questions. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> hey. Lord, I'm gonna say this on air. Lord, release us from the shackles that we are shackled to. I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, we we got some shackles on this motherfucker, man. So yeah, I'm gonna wait till Nell get back because we're gonna talk about that shit, man. But uh, yeah. Oh yeah, Mark Sancho, uh party show coming up soon. Yeah, man, it's coming up in like um in a couple weeks, bro. I'm excited. Yeah. I got and you. My mom, and my mom's birthday coming up too, man. Where? Uh, next week, actually, bro. She turned fifty one, bro. It's crazy. Is, is that right? <laughs> Shut up, Banks. Yes, my mom is turning fifty one. What's her favorite color? Oh my! <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> All I'm gonna say is Marcel, you walk in your kitchen and goddamn banks in that motherfucker like Melvin from Baby Boy, bro. You I'm putting a nigga in the headlock, bro. I'm putting a nigga in the headlock. Pause. 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 We are talking about a grown man in your kitchen, butt naked, cooking eggs, drinking Kool Aid. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. You better yeah. fire. You better fire on me. Don't do that or that. Man, you better, yeah, about you say, better you get the swing. gun, nigga. And right. hey, you can't even fight a naked ass nigga. Imagine trying to fight a grown ass man that's naked, bro. You got it. You got it, bro. Yeah, I don't want no, I don't want it, no smoke. Hey, Especially if it's Melvin, bro, Big Rays, I'm good. Hey, I'm telling that nigga like this, bro. Put your clothes on, bro. <laughs> Put your clothes on me in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's hilarious. Put your, hey, that might be a second time. To put your clothes on, bro. <laughs> put your clothes. Put your clothes on, bro. Damn, man. Ari Lenny said niggas are scared of her. Not me. But she don't answer no I'm DMs. not scared of her. She, she don't answer thighs. no DMs, bro. She got the thighs, man. You feel me? She just she you gotta leave the weirdos alone, bro. I know they emotional and they just need love, but sometimes they gotta be left alone, bro. She the one said, you wanna pull the article up right now? She Fam, said it's a it's cry weird. for attention, bro. Like, <laughs> they live off attention and one meal a week. Bro. Ari Lennox. She running for nah, the you grind. Mi- you missed the you missed the best. You missed the funny segment, bro. Damn. Oh, oh I'll you. tell you. No, nah, I'll tell you what happened. Marcel nah, said. I'm gonna be in his his kitchen at his crib, naked, cooking, and then he said he's gonna put me in the headlock. Hey yo, <laughs> <laughs> it's the rappers from Baby Boy. I know, bro. With Melvin, and, yeah. and I know me and, with Melvin and me and, Jody. And me and Trey both said, "Hey, bro, put your clothes on, bro. <laughs> you can't fight nobody naked." Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> no hey, Marcel, uh, this is Marcel. Unless, unless you ASAP Rocky. Yay! Yeah, <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's another reason. Allegedly. Why. Allegedly. Slipping nah, he, on. Slipping on, sl- I ain't silly. Slipping, slipping, slipping on some. Hey, nah. <laughs> hey, nah. That nigga first. That nigga first. Hit the drop. Hit the drop. Hit the drop. I don't know which one at this point. When we supposed to be talking about rolling out? <laughs> yeah, rolling out. Yeah, they're the feds, bro. Okay, are they? Let's talk about it because I, I want to I wanna play devil's advocate. Let's, let's have a conversation. Okay. I okay. feel like. Go ahead, nah, young and you got it. Go ahead. I feel like, man, if you know, if you know you got certain shit going on, I heard that, man. <laughs> I heard that. Well, play that in the back. I heard that. It's this. If you know you got certain shit going on, bro, you got to watch how you move, period. And then knowing that you about to come to this big ass festival, yeah, what better place? You ain't got nowhere to go. 
As soon as you pull up, yeah, we waiting for you. Mm-hmm. You want to laugh? That's exactly what they did to uh, what's son name? Casanova. They got no. Casanova again. No, Casanova wasn't that rolling loud. That was no, Casanova. No, they got Cody. But that's how they, they got him originally, like though. Wasn't they got, nope. Nah, it wasn't mm. that. Nah, they it wasn't him in New York. Yeah, nah, they, they got they, Kodak, they got Kodak like that. Yeah, young boy like that too. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying, I think they got young yeah. boy. Casanova they got, was they got Casanova a lot of was different because they got him. Some shit happened in I think for Kipsy, which is like an hour out of New York, and then they found out like the, whatever that shit happened was related to something that. <laughs> His people was doing, and then they kind of just they put everything together. So but. I, my fault, but this isn't the first time this has happened with with that. But I'm I'm gonna let y'all go before I make my argument. But yeah, but, I'm, it, it's it's kind of a thing. Like you know, these niggas had the, this shit going on, and they go to these festivals, and you know, they waiting on them. Well, here's right, the like, thing. I, I say I say that to say this. So I went to Made in America three years in a row. Mm-hmm. Not one artist got arrested. I literally had to think about that. Like, did an artist get arrested around that time, or did some shit happen? And I, and I was thinking, and I'm like, no, okay. like, not before, maybe after, but like, they wasn't like, nah, like, not, no. Okay, so let me let happen me see. there, and then, but just to like bring it, just to kind of bring it full circle, then obviously the code acting happened, the young boy mm-hmm. thing happened, um, somebody else got arrested. I don't remember. But oh, really, it ain't. Right it's right not. Then, right then we'll go into New York the first year. The Pop Smoke, Chef G, twenty two two Gs, that whole situation where they didn't want them to perform, and mm-hmm. they've been practically bland. They've been that, practically same, all over New York. That same shit happened when when Rat Boy was out because they didn't want him to perform at uh, Summer Jam. I remember mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. But let me that? let me just okay, uh, Marcel, you got something to say before I go? Uh, yeah, I was like, who's who's rap? Boy? You know who rap boy is. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm gonna say his name. Oh, oh, rap. I'll just say fat. A, okay, a, a real agent. That's a real agent. <laughs> Sir, last time y'all seen him. Yo, 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 Cointel, the guy that you like is Cointel Pro, his rainbow haired best friend. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. yeah, and another guy that's from Los Angeles. That's the opposite of a hundred. Mm. <laughs> One day yeah. y'all gonna believe me, these people, man. Oh no, nah, fuck, man. fuck him too. He a bitch. Keep going. I, I, stand, on, I stand on that. If I ever see him, yeah, it's whatever. And that's a grown man. Fuck him. Come on. Who you talking? Out too? No, no. He just white. No, less less than a hundred. <laughs> less than a hundred. He's let's just say More he's brother. corny and whack. He managed. Oh, okay. Top five I was about rappers. to say, he bro, managed, you don't got it. He managed one of the top five corniest rappers. Hey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. You know, you know, you already know how I feel about that nigga right there. So, so, yeah, so, Ezel, Ezel is is one hundred percent correct. They've 100%. been actually following Fetty for a couple. Of yeah, years. I just about yeah, to say I'm about that. to say that. Yeah, Fetty, been, Fetty, that ain't nothing new though. Yeah, so that ain't nothing new. Hey man, I feel I feel bad for that man. So yeah, I'm it's a, been a long year, fam. So I'm gonna ask y'all a question, and this is why this is why I counteract your point, Nelson. And again, just talking. What are the top three states that rappers get arrested in? Miami, which is Florida. Florida, New mm-hmm. York, California. Thank you. <laughs> so while I'm not the saying that sequence. So while I'm not disagreeing with you about made in America, that's Pennsylvania. And again, it if you know and you look at the history of rap, that's where they all get jammed up at. Florida, California, and New York. I mean, if I go down the list of rappers, even from this year, from Pooh Shiesty, all it's all been those same areas. So if you know that you're about to go to this festival and NYPD, Florida PD, California police, just period. If you know that you got something going on, and especially with Fetty, it's like, bro, you in this area. Yeah, you you live yeah. in this area. And if, you, if what they... Jersey. And what they if what they saying about you allegedly is true, you operating in this area too. So they really, really looking for you. NYPD, so, LAPD, and so, and they got his man still locked up, right? Because of the the Fed boy we just talked about. Oh. Yeah, the hair. yeah. Uh, what about, uh, son. What's his name? Uh, I know um, you're talking about. I'm trying not to say his name, but you know what I'm talking. I know about. exactly who you're talking about. The uh, yeah, because he, yeah, I, I can't think of his name, but I know exactly who you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. Oh, exactly. Albie out? Nah, Albie out. Nah, uh, uh-uh. uh. The dude. Nah, 
the man, his son that got locked up. Shoddy, yeah. oh, shoddy, shoddy. Oh, shoddy. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, and he broke now. And he apparently, uh, you know, allegedly. Well, he, allegedly. Be, he ain't got to worry about it. He going to be sitting for a minute. Just put some money on some on his books. He and, never get out. And Mel Matrix, too. Well, he's good. He ain't, he ain't going to be broke no time soon. Nah, bro. Hey, well, yeah, because Jim, because Jim, yeah, yeah, Jim, but that's another but, but, but that's just the point, though, bro. If you know, I feel like if you know you have priors, even if you've been in in some shit and you own papers that you just move, you just gotta know how to move. Like, you that have to, too. you have to know how you like, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, I'll use this oh, transition. Wait. Actually, I have one, I have a question Has Go anybody ahead. been arrested at Governor's Ball? In DC, yeah. I'll look it no. up, but I don't. Governor's recall. Ball in New York. That's in New York. Governor's um, Ball's in New York. I'm not. I I wouldn't be surprised New if, York but York. I mean, this is this is how. I, okay, for me, even being 14 when this happened, when Wayne got pulled over on like with Joels and them back in the day when that's when he got locked up yeah, in New York. Yeah, Rikers. Yeah, like I knew what time it was. Too, but it, it's just like. <laughs> Minor Wayne situation and the Plessico Bird situation told me <laughs> don't play with New York. <laughs> no, about the gun line. No, no. Yeah, don't play with New York. Yeah, that's the real gun line, line boss. Yeah. <laughs> nah, that's what, them, yeah. two, them two situations told me at a young age, yeah, don't don't play yeah, with those yeah. folks. Yeah. That's yeah. what I have nothing. You can't have a motherfucker slingshot in New York. That's an automatic. Yeah, it's an automatic three point five. That's isn't it, isn't LA gun laws uh, crazy too? But yeah, they, they not like that. Too. Yeah, yeah they're they not as bad as New course. York, but they just about the same. I about to say because I, I man, look, I'm licensed to carry. My mm-hmm. license, my license is good in 48 states. <laughs> California is not in that 48. Yep. Damn. Because they try to get Vic Mensa on that because this shit is registered in uh, Illinois. Uh, like California yeah. got laws like. Um, but see, that just yep. goes to what I was saying though. Like I, I feel like if you, you know what I'm saying, doing this shit and you making money, bro, you just gotta have to watch how you move, bro. Like. You got it, cause and that's another crazy? thing too. Kind of, go ahead. No, my fault. All I was about to say is I did not see any arrest at Governor's Ball. I will also say I don't hear none at Coachella. Nope. And I worked security at Coachella one time, so I definitely don't be hearing shit like that. But you, okay, okay. Can I, can I make an argument? A slight argument. That's what we're here for. I feel like isn't Governor's Ball also like more than just rap music? Yeah, that's why they got Billy English there. That's what, that's what, he's looked at this year's line. So that's that's why I feel personally, I feel like now they're rolling loud has gotten as big as it's gotten. You finna start see them transitioning into the Lollapalooza. How about that cro- cross junior? Yeah, cross junior genre. Genre. <laughs> junior. Yeah. Genre. Like cross junior. I said, hey, better than uh. Um, Simoleon, Simoleon, yeah, nah, that sounds like a new drug, <laughs> hey, bro. Nah, that ain't that one, that one make my fry large barnacle platter. Shit, so I was, I was, <laughs> uh, make my fry law, nah, my fry law. but that's what I'm saying, though. Like you said, bro, Coachella has like. Come on, bro, you you gonna be scaring the hoes of Coachella, bro, hey, man, hey, man, I'm, and that's. Th- I'm just saying, it just always happens at Rolling Loud. Like I literally think about, I think about the other festival because at you know at one point I'm like, all right, like yes, it's like what you said before about the whole uh, academics thing, right? It's mm-hmm. Like, if you're doing something stupid, like yes, you deserve to be held accountable. Like Fetty Wap is fucked because yeah. not only was you was he was moving when he was moving, but you were moving it with federal property, which is USPS trucks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Man. that is a automatic like you going to jail for that shit. Yikes! I anything with anything with USPS, with yeah. Airplanes, once you once you send it through the mail, bro. Once you send it through the mail, it's yep. over with. Or airplanes, it's over for you. you yeah, because run, now, because when you do that, it makes the government quote unquote liable too. Mm-hmm. Exactly, it so, makes them. Com- uh, we're not even li- complicit. That's the word I'm looking. And for. that that and that that takes it from a, it definitely takes it from a state to a fed. Which, being He's honest, an idiot. He's an being, idiot. Being honest. <clears throat> If I had to choose, like if knock on wood, I ain't in the situation. I won't be in a situation. But shit, if I had to choose, I'd rather do Fed time than state time. Absolutely. 
I mean, yeah, because you, you got much easier ways to get out Fed time. State, they're going to throw your ass down there. Like, that's Mine, why. look, when the state say day to day, you're doing day to day. Day to day, nigga. Ain't if no... the feds tell you day to day, nigga, you might still get out two years early. We're going to be on papers, but you might still get out two years early. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying, though, like, bruh, that goes, that goes to another conversation. Of, mm-hmm. Bruh, once you get on to a certain point, bruh, you have to diversify your bonds in different ways, bro. All right, and if you still gonna be in that shit, bro, like you don't have to be head, you know, what I'm saying, hands on with the shit, bro. And that's, that's why. I'm, go ahead, Marcel. My bad. That's why most of these rappers now, I live where I rap. I'm like, yeah, I understand that, but at the same time, bro, you're big now. Let's talk about the YF and Lucci situation. He on Rico case. That nigga ain't getting out of jail no time soon. And what he did, allegedly, what he did was, you know, kind of messed up, but. You're a rapper, man. You're the you one of the biggest rappers in, in Atlanta. But that's why, but that, why, that, why are you doing this for? That goes to the point though, Marcel. Like, why are you even in the car? Right. Why are you even in the car? I don't right. give a fuck. You can you could pay car. someone to do that. No, I mean no, like that that no, no, no. Let me tell you something, bro. I, I give that's, still, no, that's, still it, comes, that's still comes that's still comes back. That's still, you yeah, you're right, but at the same time, you, you want a nigga head knocked off. Let, let me tell you something, bro. You, you have someone do that. Let me let me tell you something, bro. Listen, when Just you know the way around everything. Not, not even that, bro. Let's keep it a buck, bro. When you get to a certain age, bro, <laughs> bro, you gotta let go and let God deal with your enemies, bro. That's just what the bottom line is, bro. Like if yeah. once I get to a certain point in life and I've moved my mama, my sister, my nephew, and I've done certain things in my life, bro, with my family and loved ones, bro, I don't care what you niggas gotta say. What the youth is doing goes yeah. back to the point about Kendrick, bro. I'm just chilling, living my life, bro. But some niggas don't. Some niggas can't cut that switch off. Mm-hmm. And while I understand that, and that's true. But that's why you. I was need, once one of them niggas. But that's why you need. And again, that's the big debate too. Even though it feels like okay, they ain't listening. You still need some of these old old heads quote unquote to talk to these niggas because you need an older nigga to be like all right bro like that's why i love snoop so much because snoop was in some shit (laughs) and snoop can tell these little niggas hey bro if it would have went the other way it wouldn't have been no damn snoop dog you feel me like that's what you need but like you don't need to be a key example of what you're saying larry look at this shit why does he have to go through all this yeah, man. I, he was, I, I saw that. I saw that. Like, I, I'm, I'm very confused. I understand why it's probably happening, but it's like this is a case of that. Like, yo, why is he? Why is his team asking people to send him money? money. Shit, mm-hmm. All that shit. He probably help all these people out. Y'all can't turn y'all shit in to help y'all man's out that gave y'all that shit. Yo, these labels are the devils. They giving these young dudes just Mine, money up front. Not they even. are giving advance money for this bullshit. <laughs> we oh, just, we go we go just get talk, that later. I'm about to say but. just talking about labels. I know y'all seen what's going around today. Yeah, with the summer walker shit. And look who posted. Boy, it. boy. Here, okay, here's my thing, bro. Here, here's my thing. Here's my thing. Because I understand what y'all saying with the pool shots and shit, but it's also too, bro. Again, this is no disrespect. This is just the truth. If you doing business, bro, if you if you book a hotel, <coughs> you're going to look to make sure whether it's a one star or five star, right? You're going to do your research. You're going to check to see if you can get an Airbnb cheaper. You're going to do all that shit, right? So this might, look at who pool is signed to. Mm-hmm. Why did you not do your research on who you signed to? Mm-hmm. And then why? Happens. Why? Because at the end of the day, bro, you still liable as a grown man because you signed that paperwork. No one put a gun to your head and said do it. You still signed it. So it's like I understand the frustration at bad paperwork, and even with the Summer Walker situation, like. She may not have known, and people sign fucked up deals. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that's industry standard. That's just it how. Happens. Yeah, it happens. these rappers don't make money off of music. They make money off of merch and touring, mm-hmm. and their other ventures. But that's why I shake my head because, at the end of the day, bro, no matter where you are from, 
we are at the point now where we can't say like if we were in the 80s in the early 90s you could say damn it ain't been no rappers from memphis or it ain't been no rappers from kc or whatever everybody's had somebody to look at for reference so it's like if you've seen this shit coming up bro and again niggas be talking i'm pretty sure who is probably said damn man god he fucked over such and such a gucci wasn't treating such and such right and then you got paperwork and you like, all right, well, fuck it. I'm going to sign the 1017. Okay, this is what comes with it. Like, man, being, uh, being from Memphis, bro, being from, and Larry, just me and you personally, like, you know how we how we talk about folks, deals and shit like that. You feel me? So, you know he did. You feel me? Like, That's what you, I'm saying, you, bro. You've seen it firsthand what this mind did to his artist, bro. <laughs> you thought you was going to be any different? <laughs> and even, even the artist that he, quote, unquote, did bad, right? That whole Ms. A shit is fucked up. If you really, if you really want to talk about it, so it's Damn, like I hear Ms. A in a long time. But I mean, yeah, bro, like Ms. it's a entertainment. Damn. But that's what I'm saying, bro. Like it's a reason why French and Nicki and those people left. Like it's a reason why. Like I'm not, I'm just speaking the facts, bro. Like that's that's just business. But that's the problem. It's a, it's too much. I sound like I'm preaching here, bro. But it's too much. Go you know ahead, man. We it's, have an adult conversation because no, now I'm thinking about Summer Walker contract as a whole and her album is coming out tomorrow. Tomorrow. We're anticipating it. Yeah. And guess what? She ain't going to see a cent of that stream. She's going to see exactly 16 cents of each dollar. Which is right. horrible. And of course, like people, they try to do the old, but the album's coming out now. That's why they disclosed it and all this other shit. But like these labels been doing this shit since, you know, we can go back. Inception. And, you know, later, Inception. I know we on this labels right now, and like I'll break down later on like the Wu Tang situation because we got to You know, we'll talk about the show, and I'll kind of go into their yeah. how they were able to fucking take over the world. But yeah, like these, they don't. The thing is with these artists, the problem is is that they're signing to the wrong people. Their management is pointing. They say, okay, I got this person's co-sign, not looking at the reputation of what that if they have a label, what the label presents. Um. They don't look at the contracts. It's like, okay, I want to sign to this guy because of the name, but it's like, dog, at the end of the day, like a lot of these people also don't see the bigger picture. Mm. It because people okay, no, I'm gonna say this, and this might be like two minutes, but fuck it. That's because people do not realize that life can be a business and you have to know how to conduct yourself in different situations of business. Prime example, we are in a pandemic, bro. Prior to this, people were so gung ho. America is the greatest place, blah, 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 blah. Then people realize America does not give a flying fuck about you. You are just a number on the board. Fuck this country. That's, but that's life, bruh. And people don't realize that. So, in going into business with the music business, bro, it's, okay, just this is my analogy I was gonna use. When the bank gives you credit cards and loans and shit, they don't want you to pay that shit off. They want to keep you in debt. That's mm -hmm. how they operate. That's <laughs> how they maintain. It's a reason why you have $500 in your account. And they say, okay, here's $10,000, bro. Have at it. You know why? <laughs> because you're going to run that shit up. And then mm -hmm. you're going to have to find a way to pay them back. Right. And now you see, that's why I don't knock nobody who did it. But people were out there getting PPP loans last year. No, it was not a peace and prosperity loan. But, <laughs> but they were out there getting PPP loans, and now they're struggling like, damn, I got to pay this shit back. Yeah. Because it's a loan, bro. The like, same cast that was flexing that money during the pandemic is the same motherfuckers getting caught with that shit. Man, it's, I seen something today. It was a, a girl, and I forget, she was in Florida, and like they were like, she owed 300000 and it. Oh, yeah, shorty. Yeah. Yeah, I know but, you're talking about. But if you look at it, it's like, yeah, I can tell where that 300000 went. Like you went, went to the edges. It went to the edges and curls. I was just about to say the DBL. No, nah, I think she already naturally had that, brother. Because I looked oh, at that okay. picture a couple times. <laughs> Amazing, brother. <laughs> right. Man, put that but, shit in the red room. But th but this is what I said. <laughs> The red room, <laughs> red rum bum. I got you. Red room, a fatal frame. <laughs> fatal frame. What reggae song is that? <laughs> <laughs> I hit the button. You hit the button for yourself. Fire for that. <laughs> As the goat. Mm -hmm. 
greenest nigga of all time. Hey, bro, I know I said, I know I said, damn, I'm not finna, I'm not finna start saying Sean or Todd, nothing like that, but I'm finna start saying fire for that, fuck it. <laughs> nah, it's, it, bro, that shit has been going crazy. Yeah. The yeah, reggae no, boys have started something. No, nah, they, they did start, they, they said, they did start. Hey. I, I appreciate that we got the, uh, the rite of passage to say it. Hey, you Josh, gonna lot, you're gonna hear a lot of fire for that in the reggae tone. I know we, I know we got to get our merch popping, but fuck that. We need some reggae boy shirts 2022, bro. We need the fire for that shirt. Bro. You gotta, you gotta dress Josh as like a fucking Naruto sorcerer, and he just throwing fire at people. <laughs> bro, y'all ever seen the? Uh, you gonna just have, you'll have him in a Manchester United jersey. Y'all ever seen the Dragon band. Ball Z video? The Jamaican dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fire for that. Wow, I want to watch two men fight over Dragon Ball. <laughs> hey, the funniest shit. Resurrect them with the balls. Fuck that. <laughs> Fire for that. Nah, you have, have you seen the TikTok where it's a guy, he makes a turn and the, and the street says Batty Lane? Yeah, he's like, oh no, 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 <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> No, no. Yeah, I put that on my yo, IG story. Yo, dog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bati Lane. Yeah. I'm telling y'all, TikTok got that shit, hey, bro. The fun, nah, the funniest. No, no, bro. sir. No, sir. <laughs> the, the new shit is um, uh, it what's the one? And Banks put it up too, but I saw it. Uh, the one at the gym. Oh yeah, cleaning the gym equipment. Oh. Bati. Bati boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh yeah. A, 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 when you work at a Jamaican at Home Depot. Dog, there is a <laughs> algorithm for like West Indians, bro. It Yo, is the greatest shit. Have ever. you seen yeah. the one of my man's who does the MS Paint ones? That he yeah. does yes. yes, yes, yes. Bro, them shits be having me. You a boss? <laughs> hey, nah, no, that we don't do abortion. We don't do abortion. <laughs> Man, y'all in a whole different uh, hey, thing. No, I, I didn't see that. Floor, I'll send them to you, Marcel, later nah, on. Yeah, the right, the funniest one, though, by far, is the, the Joseph Mary one, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Joseph, who born you? Who born you? Who breathed you? Who breathed you, man? Who breathed you? Who breathed you, man? Hey, who born you? My favorite. My favorite is when when Josh B on Twitter, he put the uh, Bougie Bonton locked up freestyle man. Fire for that thing, bro. Or I just post a picture. I'm like, bro, that's all you can do. Just post a picture. Oh, if they shit. get it, they get it. Oh shit, bro. I like, um, yeah, I like, I love how like fire for that became like a, like a, like a, uh, like a multiverse joke on Twitter. Now it's starting to catch on. Hey, bro. Yeah. He need, to, hey, he need to. He, I ain't gonna say he, he probably can't copyright it. Somebody, you can't copyright, copyright that. Yeah, that, that's Jamaican slang. Yeah, but hey, yeah, you, he can't do it like the like the white folks at Bar still trying to copyright Bing Bong. Hey man, Dave about to be in that Bing Bong. Keep on bullshitting. Weird motherfucker. Sick ass. With the Mark Zuckerberg glasses, bro. Listen, any man who puts on a dress shirt and glasses and talks for twelve minutes, they guilty. Did that shit. <laughs> Somebody else said that shit. Son, like, come on, bro. Like you seen it, and then, bro, this man pictures. This man, like, and he look like one of them cats too who do that shit. Hey, nah. But when you was in Nantucket doing it, you definitely did that shit. Hey, but my, he he he. You was in Nantucket doing that shit. Hey, no disrespect, but the greatest apology video still belongs to Offset, bro. Cardi, I apologize for. <laughs> <laughs> Cardi, Whoa, I that, that was, I've that never all, seen that. Hey, you hey, ain't, hey, bro. Pull it up, bro. Nah, pull it up, pull it up. Pull yeah. it up. I, I, I apologize to my wife. Nah, the funny, the funniest one was when he bought her the cake too. At the concert. Nah, the greatest part was he that did one. that. Went to her birthday party and he left. And yeah, he apologized and left. <laughs> the offset rebrand has been incredible because he went from that shit and then to, like, oh, oh, I think we should just stay out of women's yeah. business. <laughs> yeah, bro, he went from he's he not went, lying. He went from the he's not lying, but he went from no. That to the oh when he went when they had the gate when he was tweeting the gay stuff and he was like, yo, I got hacked. Bro, he you remember bro, that he, when his Twitter got hacked? She had him bro, shook. Shook. and then it turned to, then it turned into hey man. Nah, Banks, please play this business, video for bro. the pod, bro. Please. please. I ain't seen this Banks, classic. Find this video, please. Banks, you just type in laugh. offset. I apologize, bro. <laughs> Apology to Cardi B. I apologize bro. to my wife, Cardi B. There we go. Yes, yes, this is it. yes. play this shit, bro. He had the, Turn this he had up the for the people, do rag on every he had the prodigy do rag uh tied and everything. <laughs> God bless Prodigy. God bless Rest in peace. Happy yeah. birthday, Happy birthday. Yes. I only got one birthday wish. 
Let's start that joint from the beginning, bro. <laughs> start from the top, bro. I only got one birthday. <laughs> yeah, he never talked that off in the 30 years of his life. <laughs> I only got one birthday wish, and that's to get my, my, my wife back. Cardi you sound Cardi. like Marcel. I want to apologize to you, Cardi. You know I embarrassed you. I made you look crazy. Doing things I ain't had no business. I was partaking in activity that I shouldn't have been taking in. And I apologize, you know what I'm saying? Breaking your heart, breaking our promise. Breaking God's promise and, and being like uh, said God's promise. <laughs> stuff hugs me, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to I'm I'm trying to be a better person. This nigga lying. Get this off my shoulders. I want to get this off my back. I apologize to you, Carter. I love you and culture. I want to spend Christmas with you. <laughs> I want to be able to spend the rest of life my life with you. I apologize. I'm sorry for what I've done to you. I didn't fuck that girl, but I was entertaining. You know what I'm saying? I apologize. I love he you. I hope you forgive me. My birthday wish just to have you back. Hey, go, bro. You can tell. <laughs> you can tell that was sincere, and you can tell that motherfucker just finished crying, bro. Bro, yeah. the nigga he was, said, just get, he was just getting his bread back from crying his fucking. The eyes man out. said, "My promise before God, bro. He wanted to come he home." Now, God, so he, like, he, <laughs> he a wrestler fan. He cut the promo of his life. My, son said, my son said, "Listen, man, I, I wasn't fucking. Up. I was just entertaining it." Anytime you see somebody moving them, they them hands on their face like that, bro, it's how he know he fucked up, bro. He could be still, <laughs> bro. That man said, "I want to come home for Christmas, bro." <laughs> like, he said, "Coach, I want to spend Christmas with my daughter." Right. He said, "The baby name." Right. right. This man <laughs> brought the baby up. He brought the holidays sick. up. He said he was sorry. He said hey, he ain't bro. doing. He entertained it. He said, "God." Hey. He, said, he said, "We." I don't want to mess up God's plan. Keep in mind, God's promise. Keep in mind, this is like. Minute like an hour after the y'all won post, like, <laughs> yes, yes, bro. He had an hour to think, bro. He had an hour with God. He started thinking about he that, talk, bro. He talked to God, bro. <laughs> he really talked talk to God. <laughs> he talked to God. You had yeah. to, yeah, because this is like Bodak Yellow. And then if you cut to now, he had like a that's so Raven moment, like seeing into the future. Like, if you fuck this up, bro, she straight off one single, she ain't put out an album in four years, bro. She has better not fuck that up. She don't yeah. need to. That's the whole point. That's the crazy part. And and bro, the thing is, like the like his cert, I guess where he's back to now is incredible because like that man just wears St. Louis fitted and trucker pants. He does his guest also, feature versus and he go home. Yeah, he Marcel, bro, he he be doing car rides. Marcel, that, that's, that's gonna that's gonna be you in a that's gonna be you very soon if, if you get your shit together. Bro, you gonna be off minus the apologies. Stay out of women business. You're that's, why he, right. that's why. That's why he said this shit. <laughs> stay out of women business. He already on the right track. Before I asked okay. that man that question, that man said, "Look, I just feel like we should stay out of women business." Women. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like Marcel, I don't know if you be pop blocking for fun or recreational purposes. Yeah. Maybe there too. I don't know. But you, him you and know, we're gonna do TikTok videos. Why? Uh, you know. Uh, Wait, bro. Also, I need to do TikTok videos. How has he not done them yet, fam? You know what? Was, you know what the funny part that was. Dancing ass motherfucker need to be doing TikTok. Videos, we talk. Bro. We talking about God and God is the great. God is still on the throne, but I can tell that man. Mama called him, bro. Man. Oh yeah, he got the call. Yeah, he he got the call. That's he what he's talking about. He got, he got the, the call. call. Like, he got the call. He got. Because if you want to be truthful yeah, of us of color, it be God and your mama. You put one A and one B, and more than likely you're gonna say your mama one A. You scared of your mom more than you scared of God, if you want to say <laughs> which is sad, but I understand how bruh. She and you know she wasn't playing, she used her government too. She's like, Yeah, Becca Lee's call, baby. She she's she, gonna tell you how there's only three people I know in my life that call me by my first name. That's my mom and my sisters. That's it. <laughs> this is what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> she yeah, you know she didn't call him uh or whatever his name is, you know, she definitely Kyrie. called. She Kyrie called him whatever, whatever his little childhood nickname was. That's how you know she was serious. <laughs> you know what the crazy thing is? Because they all related, like blood related. Yo, how do you handle if you quavo a conversation with your nephew being Offset? Like you fucking up, bro. But y'all nah, the same it's age. The reverse. Offset is like it's a cousin. No, Offset no, no, is the, off, no, offset is is the nephew. cousin. No, Offset is no, their cousin. No. Takeoff is Quavo's nephew. There you go. I'm fucking up the names. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. You look at their faces, you would have thought it was the opposite. You would have thought Takeoff was his uncle. 
Nah, yeah, there I, you go. My fault. Takeoff is his nephew. It's Quavo. Yeah, Takeoff. Yeah, Krishnik. No, I'll say it. But that's. I mean, I mean. Some, that, somebody that, said. Somebody said Takeoff's knee sound like when you when you take a sword out of a. <laughs> Takeoff. So take caliber character name having. <laughs> <laughs> so, <Killing. laughs> hey, bro. They dressed like the nigga with the uh, blades on his hand, too. Hey, bro. The man dressed like a DLC Tekken character, bro. <laughs> he dressed like Vol- What's his name? What was his name? Um, Voldor? Voldor or something like that. Voldor? Yeah. Voldor? Nigga, you slide with the blades and hit yeah. your ankles. Hey, man. Nah. Bro, but- Voldor, Voldor would have went crazy at the Met Gala. <laughs> <laughs> See, ah, Met Gala offset. Ah, I see the ah, sure. Hey, see what offsets Met Gala ad libs are top five greatest ad libs of all time. Nah, bro. Come on, bro. bro no, no, I was going to say, bro, that ad lib is no, culture, culture three is hilarious, bro, because Takeoff was getting bro. his shit off on that album. Bro. Bro. That, fucking, that fucking Why Not song, bro. Please, what'd he nah, say? Bro. Talk to a bitch like Red Fox, bitch. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, nah, dog. Offset's Atlas of Met Gala are crazy, bro. They dude, were that good that he did Gucci's ad libs. I don't we, even listen to Gucci's, but I we, listen to Offset in the back. We gonna we gonna have a talk years from now. We talk to our kids and shit, and we gonna have a fun conversation about Migos, bro. Cause them niggas, bro. From have y'all? I'm Marcel. I'm pretty sure you seen this. Y'all seen the video of Offset pulling the chick from Waffle House while her dude was right there? Yeah, I saw the video. <laughs> like, Marcel said you caught the wrong whole fucking flow. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do they have Waffle House in Missouri? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, there's Waffle House everywhere, Banks. I mean, you got to add. Well, the North got, they, they ain't got Fagos. We do got Fagos. I, I, we do. We do. Oh, you found so it like you it's a <laughs> flyer. Bro, I yeah, didn't I know we had them. My, shout, out to my, shout out to my young boy, uh, Devin, bro. He put me on where they get the Fagos. How can you have a young boy and you under 30 years old? That's my young guy. Y'all the same age. Like, nah, man, you, Devin, same thing bro. I say to Larry when Larry be like, "You a young nigga, bro? Y'all the same age." Devin's, no, Devin's no. I am a, I'm a young nigga, but he's a different young nigga, bro. It's a difference, bro. Hey, like, Larry, just because you want a seventy two color Supreme don't mean shit. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> oh, the country has never Why you hating on me? Because right, I want to cut dog. That. What's wrong? Right, with like, seventy two colors. I'm an old soul. One day I'm gonna talk about how Memphis niggas be still living in 1979, 110th Street. So, <laughs> nigga, <laughs> yeah, Yo, be, that's, like a, that's a fire soundtrack. Fuck you, mean, nigga. Let's y'all talk. Be the youngest old niggas on the planet. I swear. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey. That's my. That's my. That's my young guy, man. Shout that soundtrack go crazy. Hey, bro. My mother used to play the shit out of that soundtrack as a kid. Hey, man, you gonna stop hating? Yeah, Bobby on, Womack's gonna stuck in my fucking. You gonna head stop hating on Miss South niggas, bro? I see, I see what's going on. You spent that time in Arkansas, picked up some shit. <laughs> no, I'm gonna always bash Arkansas. I don't give a fuck. I got blood ties out there, and I mean actual blood ties. I know it. Yeah. I don't. I don't have anything good to say. Hey, about bro, this, don't be don't be mad at us because we want to eat barbecue, ride around, and cut dogs and listen to Willie Hutch, bro. That's just like cut bro. dogs, cut dogs, bro. Cut yeah. dogs. Peter. <laughs> you don't know what that dog is, bro? No. No, I think you really No, I couldn't. Nelson, Nelson, my man. You don't know. <laughs> I mean, I picked it up in 2 seconds. Yeah, good dog, bro. That's like for colors, yeah. I uh, see my mind was somewhere else. I was man, like just like man here for PS2. <laughs> like y'all call it, like every 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 region has slang for cars. Like, yeah. So it's like shout out to the Camaro Club on Florence. Like, yeah, you, just call it, you call them acts and you know all type of other shit. Shout out to the Camaros, the Chevelles, anything Chevy from nineteen sixty four to like seventy three, seventy four. Yeah, bro. Great. Cadillacs on twenty two. Ain't did nothing in my life but stay true. Banner was a prophet, bro. I'm trying to tell you. Hey, every time I every time I see one of them old cars, I, I think of um, what's that project pass off Getty Green uh choices. But see, if you know make a choice, my you know brother. Listen, that's just won't ask me. I always think about hey. that. Nah, and it's not to slander. And he said like, choice of colors. Me. Choice of colors, my fault. Isn't it my brother? <laughs> my he said, yeah, yeah. he said, if you had a choice of colors, colors. which one would you choose, my brother? Hey, there bro. you go, my bad. You see, I had to. I, it was the same. It was if there was no day or night. Night, yeah. I fucked up. Hey, my bad. 
It's the same bar difference. Same, <laughs> so, yeah, bar, so, so you same bar difference. Come on. Hey, man. You know. <laughs> Hey man, we 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 appreciate you, Nell, because you you fuck with us, bro. You you understand. I fuck, listen, I fuck with everybody, man. Like, I, and I know I Banks is just joke. I know Banks ain't got nothing. I, I was listening. I, I showed y'all like two weeks ago. I was listening to fucking the Devil's Playground and shit. And then today I came back to Hell on Earth. I don't know if I'm on some demonic shit the last two weeks. I, I feel think it's like just, you are, sir. No, nah, I think it's just getting cold outside. You know, you got to get. I'm gonna call it Santa there. Maria. No, nah, I'm good, bro. Santa Maria. <laughs> Not Santeria, Santa Maria. Listen, man, God God and the Ori shots protect me, brother. I'm good. Amen. Amen. Since we talking that, we gotta do is put me near some water. But guys, since we talking, that's a depressing song. Real quick, Calico Twenty Two is a fucking depressing song. (laughs) (laughs) Come to think about it, Andre Jones, Lord of My People's on and on. I'm like, what? Hey, bro. Hey, we, hey, Mississippi niggas different, bro. I, but fuck, I fuck with Goals them, without seeing. Mississippi is different. That is not part of America. <laughs> that motherfucker like third war country. Just like Damn, oh, wait, 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 wait. Am I lying about Mississippi? When the last time you had fun in Mississippi? Go ahead. And I, I stayed in I Philadelphia, know. Mississippi for a summer or two. I I've never been to Mississippi. I I don't go. I've never been to Mississippi. I've never driven through Mississippi. Hey, Count your blessings. I had to stay there for two summers. Shout out to my boy Fly Patreon Park, content. Man. You said what? Hey man, nah, I know people in Mississippi. That's why I'm nah, crying. Shout out to shout out to anybody who knows anybody in Mississippi. But you're not gonna catch me in Mississippi. Yeah, oh no, I'm not going there, there. But I'm just saying, like, the, I like the slavery music. out there, bro. <sighs> All right, <laughs> get the fuck out of Mississippi, bro. If you dare. <laughs> The, the sound of my voice. If y'all oh. have Wi-Fi out there and you can hear me, get shout out. out. Shout the out, words. Shout out Kamikaze and David Banner. The words of shout Redacted Banks do not represent. Shout oh. out. Shout out Crooked Letters. Hey, bro. Shout out to David Banner, bro. It's 2021. If you're from Mississippi, I'm from LA and I left. All right. If you in Mississippi, you from there, get the fuck out. Nobody's forcing you to stay there. I know rent is fifty nine dollars a month. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> It's not, but that's all fair conversation. We'll talk about it. <laughs> Is this the case you got in Mississippi? I think oh, do. yeah. We're going to talk about it off here. It's oh, fucked yeah, get up, me bro. out of America, bro. If they trying to take over Mississippi. <laughs> gentrify Mississippi. Shout out to Canada. Let's get out there. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get out there. I'm going to, I'm going to, we going to Montreal. We out. Hey. Let's go. To the Somalians. All right, man. Oh, so you do, bro. So you <laughs> do know how to see it. I do know how to say something. He just ain't know how to spell it. So Siri, so so when you said it to he Siri, said, he spelled that shit like a nori rap. Bro, Siri did that, bro. Uh, <laughs> Siri, Siri did. That's, that's your line. You gonna speak to it? It's facts. That is your that's line. The title you gonna speak to it? It's not Siri a line. Did. It's a. It's a. Thanks, caught it. Thanks, caught it. Yeah. What? 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 I'm with what? 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 Shoot you in your face, stab you in your kneecap. What? What? Somalian, real skinny. What what? Hey, Nori appreciation hey, episode what? coming soon because B dot tripping, bro. Hey, listen. B dot hates everybody that's not Dash Effects, bro. B dot hates everybody that's not from North Carolina. That's all right. That's even better. Can that smart bird comment? They wanted him to get the fuck up out they of here. They want to kill him on that one. But he's absolutely right about South hey, Carolina. Listen, man. Nori, Nori. I know Nori kind of acted weird right now. Now he's Noriega Suzuki with that haircut, but. We'll give him his props. Like he was that, from the south, hilarious. you know. He was with he was give, he had David Banner songs in 1998. He was, hey, on, he was on project. He was on project past Getty Green. Shout out to Noriega, bro. Shout out to Nori. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. AKA, AKA El Plaga. <laughs> yeah, man, don't don't you start what? that shit. Shout out state property too. Shout out state property too. You what I say, God? <laughs> Fucking El Plaga. Hey yo, El Pollo Loco. El Pollo. Hey yo, Larry. Hey, what's that name? Hey yo, Larry. Hey yo, Nelson. Yo, peace oh, you, uh, peace hold, on, hold on, let me clear peace my throat. <clears throat> hey, so, so we gonna recap the season two for Wu Tang Clan, <laughs> and you know we, you know, I, I want to sign him to Def Jam, but you know, uh, oh, Electro no. got the better offer. <laughs> so, uh, the Wu Tang has the RZA, the Jizza. Oh, dirty bastard. You know, your kids appreciate it 20 years from now. I just want to say my favorite thing about this is watching like Riz's like take on people from Wu Tang because 
you can tell that he still like he loves Jizza and he fucks with Jizza, but that man cannot stand you guys, bro. <laughs> Nobody likes you guys. Okay, let me ISO this if y'all don't mind. Go ahead, we're here. Right. This is what we're here for. You got it. Uh uh uh, you got it. Name me other than the triumph. Fuck it, just give me the I'm gonna tell you right now, I can't <laughs> and protect your nah, not even. I can't. That's I can't. two. Name me. And then the Ghostface song. After I those verses, name me your favorite you got verse. I can't. I don't, have, bro. I don't have I don't have favorite ones. I just know the ones that he's on. I can't, bro. There's the no. Cypress Hill song. Like I'm a, I'm Gra- keep he it. was he was on Gravel Pit. Not not saying a goddamn thing. He was on Uzi Pinky Ring. Not mm-hmm. talking about a goddamn thing. <sighs> Tell me, me what the fuck you guys been talking about for 20 plus years. What? Ass. <laughs> doodle, slim doodle maker stuffed in pajamas. Yeah, I'm like, wait a minute. This for the bitches, nigga. You know what I mean? <laughs> Look at my son's face. Hey, I'm like, yo, I don't think man, they want to know about their booty being doodle makers, bro. Bro, what? He said, I want to put a rough rider. He said he wants to put a rough rider on a bus right through it. Who still wears rough riders? No, I ain't saying that, bro. So, now, still. like I told you, like, I've, I'm I've always respected the woo, but I've never gotten into a deep dive into discography. Like my plan is to actually Man. go and listen to Iron Man this week. Tonight. Tonight. Yeah. So I I respect it, but even from the little I've heard, I'm like, bro, you got ain't talking about shit, bro. Like it, and it's funny because like it for me, I'm, okay, let me let me go over the, the group. Rizza, Jizza, Spec the Deck, ODB, Meth, Raekwon. Master Killer. Master. Ghostface. Master Killer. When you get the Master Killer, I just cut it off right there. <laughs> it's like, I, I, hey, no funny shit though. His first album actually was pretty good. It was. Yeah, because I'm not listening. I'm not listening to Cabadonna and you got. It's just not. Hey, nah, I The Pillage was a bad album. <laughs> it was just not a bad album. All right. So this is the thing with me and Cabadonna. We about to get on some hip hop, hip hop shit. So I wish B Dot was here, but this old ass can't stay awake. Low management. His uh, gla- no, his glasses is fogging up. Or he probably dropped them in the oh, rain. Bro. That male Listen. kit, they all in packages, bro. He tired. He could have stayed up for this conversation. I, I understand though. He looked like you got. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> he is you got. What do you mean? <laughs> that might be another title. Beat up. Yeah, he is you got. What are you talking? No, that's the title. I'm <laughs> you, hey, 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 you dot. You died. <laughs> <laughs> you died. <laughs> Got it right there, pal. <laughs> All right, so this is the thing. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, he, he be tripping me out when he be clowning niggas. And it's like, bro, you do the same shit. Like, he clowns Nori. It's like, bro, you are bro. Nori. You are bro, you, you are God, Nori bro. Niggas, you are Noriega's black side, bro. You are his black cousin. <laughs> Black cousin is hilarious. Full oh, house, son. Like, hey, bro. Yo, B dot is B dot. You him, you die. Call him B dot Golden Arms because he need them gold. <laughs> Never mind. Shout, the, the, shout to we you. We call God, him man. the the you God of this podcast would be even disrespectful because bro. That's just disrespectful. He not. You know if if you got walking in the studio, if you part of the woo, you like God damn. This nigga actually showed up for work. But that's <laughs> what. But that's what would make it so funny in season two. Like, I hate to be. I hate to be. I told you so, nigga. But you know. I told you so. <laughs> you know what's wild too? Like, if you ever look at anything that's ever happened with Wu Tang or like outsiders dealing with it, like, you know, it's the only person they really don't do nothing for. You got <laughs> cause he always bashing Rizzo. Like, bro, every month bro. he go on the interview talking about Rizzo. You literally the only one, bro. Like, even when Rizzo and Raekwon had differences, like it was just like, bro, I just don't like where Rizzo going. And then Raekwon said it. Rizzo said this, and then it was like, all right. Well, we got to an understanding. It's like not every see, time. Ray, Ray, and Ray wasn't fucking with him because, like, he was doing like the, you know, that's an, oh, we can say it. That Wu Tang album is really the first NFT. You feel yeah. me? But that we never gonna hear. I mean, even the last one too. The the lad, the a better tomorrow. Like Rayquan was like, because like he what said Rizzo want to be more humble. Rayquan was like, what the fuck are you talking about being humble? Like we've been for twenty fucking years. What right. the fuck you need to be humble, son? Like. Go go to the fucking floppy disk and go put another beat on. What do you mean? Right. The and fuck you can tell you maybe those are old beats too when you listen to that shit. Especially yeah. track two. 
I but mean, still, like I, I, I'm not. I hate to say this, but for certain artists, like, it's certain. Pro- like Ray, Ray, I still listen to. Meth, I can listen to a little bit. A little bit. I'm pissed that Doom Starks is somewhere in a vault and we'll never get it. Nah, okay, so remember we talked about that a couple episodes ago? Mm-hmm. Apparently, Go said that shit is kind of just like gone. Yeah, because he said I Doom lost it. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. It might be somewhere, but nobody knows where it's at. Listen, and, if anybody can handle lost music, it's the Wu-Tang Clan. And also, too, with, with Doom's estate as well, we ain't getting no more dumb shit. Like what you got? Oh no, nah, they, they like, ain't like, yeah, you know, it's, a, it's, it's, a over, it's a wrap. Like he not getting that shit. The we only thing get, that we, my fault, we supposed to get Ghost Stars with it. Oh nine, oh eight. Doom Stars. It was like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, Doom, Doom Stars was like oh nine, and then yeah, oh nine. It kind of revved back up like twenty sixteen, and they yeah, were talking he was like, like finally about to come out. Yeah, and then you know, and rest in peace, Doom. Died on Halloween last year, so rest in peace, Doom. And we didn't know till December thirty first. That's still right there, crazy. Oh, you yeah. know about that, Marcel? I didn't know he died on Halloween. He died on Halloween, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. And we didn't find until December thirty first. Yeah, they, they, mm-hmm. he actually died on Halloween, but they didn't uh, disclose it until. Bro, when I'm talking about that, kept that a secret. They kept that yeah. a secret. That's it's like it's like with Chad. It's like with Chadwick Boseman. They kept. His cancer secret yeah. until he passed. And that shit's knew. still crazy. Like, damn, yeah, and, and, and the thing is, bro, we don't even know what dude Doom died from. Nobody knows that either. Yeah, no one knows where he's buried. Oh, yeah. Nothing, bro. It's just Nothing. we just know he's dead. Yep, we just know he ain't here no more. But and... That video of him, where was he in Honduras or something like that on the boat? Dilla, Dilla. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Doom had the funniest videos, bro. Because anytime he showed himself, bro, it was all he was always doing some wild shit, bro. That yeah, was, New York Yankee fitted with the you mask, know what's, big ass polo. You know what's the eeriest shit though? He when he died, it was Halloween. If you remember last year, Banks, that's when that Alchemist instrumental project dropped, mm-hmm. uh, and it had the Doom interlude on there. Mm-hmm. And it dropped on Halloween. It's like every time I hear that shit, it's like, ah, oh, like very rest, calculative, man. Rest, rest in peace, Doom, man. Rest like peace, man. same thing with RZA. It's uh, me and Nelson was talking about it this morning. It's kind of like, and this is why this is great. This is why this shit need to be nominated for an Emmy or whatever <laughs> for TV writing. It's because his five year plan kind of got initiated within a year. If it that, did. Yeah. And the yeah. fact that, you know, it was hard to watch. Like, I told Nelson last night, I texted him. I'm like, yo, it was kind of hard to watch the fight between him and yeah, ODB. Uh, ODB. Yeah, yeah. and Asan. Because it's like, you know he had to probably be there on set to coordinate that. and Or even if he was just, like, wherever he was producing it and writing it. To think about that shit from 30 years ago, that memory, and now your blood cousin. Him and Jizzer are, in fact, first cousins. They all their moms related. Right. The fact that he had to think about that, that probably fucked him up. Like, damn, bro. But at the at the same time, your plan is your plan. That's why I had to post a clip <clears> on <throat> Instagram about the chess game. Because mm-hmm. it's like, bro, you finish how you start. And mm-hmm. yeah, Dirt Dog wanted to, in fact, go to Def Jam. But the lecture deal is genius because, dog, we see Enter the 36 Chambers. We see it on T-shirts. We see it everywhere at least once a month. Even if you ain't looking at the album on Apple Music mm-hmm. with the ODB cover, I've seen that shit even that out covers. here. Mm-hmm. Every classic fucking cover. cover. Yeah. That's a classic. That's one of the best hip hop covers ever to me. I love that cover. It's the yeah. most known besides Biggie's first album, Straight Out of Compton. Shape. Yeah, Do- Doggy Style, like the Snoop's album, like those covers yeah. are yeah iconic. All those Wu Tang yeah. covers. I mean, uh, Cuban Links one. Um, a purple tape, which yeah. they did a purple tape to awesome, you know, awesome hustling shit. I, mm-hmm. I even liked the the cover for two because they made it purple and it had they made it purple, yeah, that was as adult, you know, liquid swords. Like, liquid yeah. swords has a fire cover. Like, oh, I see that shit everywhere. Iron yeah. Man, what, even Iron Man's a cool, that even shit. Iron Man's a cool cover, like with them with the Wallabies on on the deck on the and Ray table. Ray just staring at niggas, Ray like. just staring at the camera. Capadonna just in the back chilling, like. 
you know, no. um, even Meth's album, even Meth's album cover, like even Meth's no. album cover, like perfectly represents like his album because his album was like some really dirty Yo. shit. Obviously, he dealt with it the worst. He had the brunt. He got the worst of it because of the flood. So, I mean, we'll kind of preface that, but right. if you haven't watched, watch it. I'm a spoiler. I don't care. We, you we here to spoil forward. it, bro. And Ray, it's got no history anyway. Yeah. It's got no history. Cool. But when they, it's funny because I'm watching it, like, and I'm like, okay, they signed the deal, and we'll get into the parameters of the deal once we discuss this. But they signed the deal, and then it's the end when it starts raining, and he goes back to the crib. And I'm like, nah, I don't think they're going to touch on it. Like, I don't think yet. Bro, when that shit happened, you know the Leonardo DiCaprio Once Upon a Time and uh, whatever. He's like, I'm like, oh shit, the flood. No, I'm like, gonna tell you I, that shit I, was crazy. I, and I, it's true because my fault, just real quick, like it is what like that's a true, you know, obviously if you do, you could read about it, it's actually two floods. There's the one where he lived in that, and then when they actually got the mansion in New Jersey, another one happened. But that one really affected Method Man. Inspect the deck, I didn't have an album come out to the second till after Wu Tang Forever in '99. Um, I think I've heard that really it, it affected Method Man and Inspector Deck the most. Yeah. Like he was in the early stages of only built for Cuban Links. I don't know if anything from the flood actually if they had to recreate anything because in order the albums went it was Method Man, ODB, ODB, ODB was ninety like six. Was ODB? Yeah. No, I think ODB was ninety five. Let me see. I'm gonna check right now, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna Because I know I know Cuban Links is 95. I know that's Cuban Links is 95. Liquid Swords is uh the end mm -hmm. of 95. Yeah. Let me I'm gonna tell you right now, actually. Uh <laughs> keep in mind, people, if y'all listening to this, this is the 90s. So this is when niggas took a year and a half to make an album. So yes. March 28th, 1995. Okay. So yeah, because Method Man was 94. ODB, it was so it was Met in order, it was Method Man, ODB, Raekwon came out summer in 95. Liquid Swords was November '95 because I remember reading up on that, and then Iron Man was last in '96, which is funny because between each album, Ghostface was the last guy to come out on the solo. Because after between Wu Tang Forever and the W, Ghost's album was actually the last one too, with Supreme Clientele. But classic, yeah, I, yeah, I will say I, I, I actually I own the I, I got Supreme Clientele on CD. Yeah, no classic. I want, I can't find a vinyl. I want the vinyl so bad, but it's, I don't think they read. They yeah, yeah, press yeah. The you ain't gonna find that, brother. Yeah, you got to. Yeah, you, yeah. you got to pay. You got to pay at least. Nah, they did one reissue a couple years ago, but you, it's like at least forty five, fifty bucks. But yeah. um, uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm gonna put you on game, off air. All about that. Yeah, I'm gonna put you on game. I bet. And trust probably, me, when he say that, that nigga got he, he got a plug somewhere. Right. <laughs> yeah, you got. Yeah, if you could get me a plug, then that'd be great. Like, cause yeah, that's one awesome. of them. It was written, took me forever to find until so, um they did a reissue for the twenty fifth anniversary, so I bought it. But damn well, son, got, why you I put me the, out there like that, son? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And damn. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna have to holler at you out I'll holler at you off air because um you, you see what month it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean uh, I I need that link again. But yeah, um, so yeah, Cal so came out November fifteenth, nineteen ninety four. Ninety four. Oh, we, yeah. yeah, we'll talk off air, young. I'm confused now. We'll talk off air. But yeah, um, but just to like, yeah, just to preface it, like, I didn't think they was gonna touch on the flood, and then the flood ends the season. So I'm can like, I? All right, can, I'm gonna interrupt you for fifteen seconds. Not when I go. when I saw that shit happen, I said, "Bro, Nelson is having an MCU post credit scene freak out right now." <laughs> like, yeah, I was like, the <laughs> he just said, like you remember at the end of Winter Soldier. <laughs> When they showed uh, Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver, it's like, oh shit! Like, <laughs> yeah, like I didn't, I just like I didn't think they were gonna touch on it too much. But let alone it end the season, which says, okay, I think honestly, I think they're gonna this year, this series is gonna be the five year plan. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, it's it's definitely. That. I think, I, I think that. the series is gonna be the five year plan, and we'll they'll get into it after because I know probably. I think I think, where, yeah, I, think I think it's gonna be five seasons too. Yeah, I think it'll be five. Seasons. I think it'll be yeah. five years. They'll they'll have a ninety. You know, they'll have the ninety three year. They'll have the flood, and they'll they'll reference how that fucked up for Method Man, and you know, Deck doesn't get his album come out till ninety nine. I think. So all right, yeah, I'm looking at it right now. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait till we get to, to the jokes about this show because okay. I got some jokes about uh, RZA's portrayal of some some of these characters, bro. RZA is a fool, bro. <laughs> They kind of spot on from what they we heard. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't no, see where Cap, Cap got locked up, so 
He yeah, wanted that. Much you could talk. No. Cap, yeah, Cap Adonis doesn't didn't get out until ninety five. Probably no, he got out like no, he was in the Protect Your Neck video. Yeah, I so he got out literally. Was he like, okay when? All right, I'm I'm, I'm I promise I'm not trying to cut you off because again I know I know a little bit, but I'm not gonna like, I know everything. Was he the dude that when Divine was talking, he was like, "Yo, get in the video." Was that Capadonna? I don't think so. Cause you know, if cause you remember when they were shooting the video, and then he was like, "Yeah, I just got out." The dude, some dude. Was oh, like, that yep. yeah, I just remember it. That might yeah, that, that might, might be Capadonna. Might be Capadonna, yeah. Okay. Because Cap, because the thing is, they all have known each other since like, which is funny. I was watching Capadonna's. He just did an interview with Mano for Kitchen yeah. Talk, and I watched it, mm-hmm. and it was pretty cool. Like he was like, "Yeah, like." Because they all have known each other. Like, suppose the story goes as, like, Capadonna is a little bit older than them. So, like, yeah. met the man, learned how to rap because of him. You got learned how to rap. And supposedly, like, Ghostface kind of. <laughs> Too bad you got in pick up. <laughs> so you gonna, said, hey, nah, hey, as soon as you said, they're mine, nah. Yeah, get I to was this, hey, that bar, when, when we get done with the analytical shit, we going to get to the jokes, y'all. Because, boy, yeah. I got some jokes. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, like, he learned, like, supposedly, like, meth, you got in Ghost, like. He was rapping first, and then he learned before he got locked up. But yeah, Capadonna comes out, came out like, yeah, when the Protect Your Neck video came out, and then like he he explained like you know RZA didn't have to do what he did, like just bringing me along, but he did. So yeah, because I mean I'm I'm one of those people I I pick up on shit. So when I saw him talk, dude, talk to Divine, he was like, yeah, getting the video. I thought that was the way of like. Easter egg introducing Capadonna for later down. The yeah, line. I'm thinking about it now because I remember that, and I'm like, and then when he, it's funny because when he explained it in the in the Mano interview, I'm like, oh, like I think that could be Capadonna. might be Capadonna, bro, because you know I know Capadonna. He he's definitely out by '96 because he's on the Iron Man cover. Yeah, he no, he was he, out by '95 because he was on Ice Cream. That's what I'm saying. And yeah, it, exactly. So he that might be yeah because remember he was talking about you know. The streets and how that rap shit ain't paying. And shit. So I think that's Capadonna, but I could yeah. be wrong. They could bring in another nigga in. And be like, oh, it's Capadonna right here. But just yeah. knowing RZA, he he loves doing a little shit like that. Like yeah. you know, even I mean, when shit. He, They're already planting the woo the woo wear seed. And nah, <laughs> okay. Let, let's get the analytical shit out because I got some jokes, bro. That was a that is a funny. That is that is some black man shit right there. <laughs> That shit was funny, bro. Yeah, but with this show, though, um, to go to your point, Banks, while we're still serious, before we get to the joke jokes, I appreciate him doing the ODB scene because it is hard to explain that to people because they just see the money. And they're like, mm-hmm. all right, I want the money. I want the fa- I want this right now instead of the long grind. That's why I loved at the end of episode nine, who's like, yo, we just signed aloud, and everybody was like, "Nigga, what?" Like, because yeah, which is yeah. crazy. Which I could go into the analytics of that, unless you y'all want to get your shit off, and then I'll I'll get into everybody's. No, go ahead, because we know it was for sixty grand, but Steve Rifkin said Steve it's Rifkin, actually fifty. Steve Rifkin said it was fifty. Um, I would say I don't like. I said I don't really care for Vlad, but um, their interview. Hold on! Whoa! 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 What? That's Kind that's a fortune. That's a fast track. Jesus Christ. Damn. Well, damn, that's ass if it is. Yeah, they're gonna have to rush it. So yeah, there's probably gonna be two episodes on ninety four, two episodes on ninety five, one episode. On yeah, fuck. Yeah. Because if unless they're gonna give them ten episodes, even still, it's like now, yeah. Darren. I'm not trying to. I mean, if you got the, if you know, I do know Hulu said they'll be back mm-hmm. for another season. I don't know if they said it's gonna be the last. No, nah, it's it's a it's a uh, Wu Tang the America saga renewed for third and final season at Hulu. Oh, potentially, man. potentially, God potentially they can move to somewhere else. Nah, but no, nah, it ain't. Marcel, no. why'd you ban? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I know you just you doing your thing, bro. I, was, I, was I appreciate out that, hope. Marcel, too. Nah, yeah, I appreciate, appreciate that. that. We, we I was holding out hope, bro. I was like, nah, I need. I need two more seasons of this, bro. Yeah. <laughs> not, not, I don't really. watch the show, but knowing Wu Tang's history and everything like that, I feel like they should go another season. At least go up to the two thousands, at least. You know what yeah, you need to do, Marcel. Uh, I'm, I mean, I'm gonna tell you what you can do, Marcel. Right. You got Showtime? Yeah, I do got Showtime. There's a Wu Tang documentary on Showtime. Oh, watch that. Man. Very good. Yeah. Watch mm-hmm. that. That'll give you everything you need to know about Wu Tang. Like, yeah. just if you don't watch the show, 
watch that documentary. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Definitely. But oh, really? yo, especially the Master Killer uh Easter egg that's there or who mm-hmm. he's related to. Yeah. That shit is crazy to me. I was like, what? I gotta yeah. go back and watch that documentary. I ain't seen this in a like I saw bits and pieces when it came out, but um, yeah, um, that was a, that was like they did a Nas, they did a lot of documentaries at that time. Showtime, I yeah, Showtime was really good shit. with the documentaries at that point. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, just to say like Riz is all with loud, so I'll kind of get into it. Like I said, I don't really like care for Vlad interviews, but if there's one I say I, you should watch, yeah, he is. I would say watch the Steve Rifkin one. Um, I think it was easy for them to do because, like, they have history. Because Vlad actually got his start at SRC, which was Steve Rifkin's label, Universal. Mm-hmm. With this, mm-hmm. He had Akon and David Banner and a bunch of other people. But um, yeah, the Steve Rifkin deal. So I'll kind of get to some history and go for it. So just hear me out. But Good. so Steve Rifkin started his parent. He he's the son of two. His parents started Spring Records. They had Millie Jackson on that label, the Fatback mm-hmm. Band, who's considered to have the first rap song, not Rapper's Delight, which he actually helped promote when he was like 17 or 18, which that was a life or death thing because supposedly he was dyslexic and he couldn't read or write till he was 14. And then he was getting in trouble and they told him, well, either, bro, you either got to get out of here and go do something in the music industry or you're going to die like, because you're fucking around. So then he was promoting for the Fatback Band. Then he started managing for New Edition. Like, he was there, like, with the Heartbreak era, like, when they got Johnny Gill and shit. And then... <laughs> no, no, no. Shit. the Heartbreak no, era. No, no, Yeah, the Annie Heartbreak no, era. Yeah, yeah. No, no this, is real, this is a real story. No, it's it's great. It's just anytime you mention Johnny Gill, I just think of the I'm, fact that he yeah, owns the new edition name, but he don't fuck with them. Like, it's which, a, <laughs> yeah. So, they <laughs> fuck with Johnny Gill. Gill. <laughs> which, no, that Johnny has Johnny a Gill. weird... Ah, oh, fuck Johnny weird, Gill, bro. Hey. He fucking up the reunion money, bro. Fuck that nigga, bro. That's a weird hey, man, That's the only person we need, bro. Because hey, bonus episode coming soon. We break down '80s groups, bro. We're gonna have a, a real talk about New Edition, bro. Hey. Fuck Johnny nah, Gill. You talking? Bro. Hey, listen, th- but the New Edition. You said thing, what to Johnny Gill? Alright, <laughs> 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 oh no, Eddie Murphy be like this nigga spitting. That's all. <laughs> all right, yo. <laughs> Eddie Murphy will be speaking in the past tense. Flag on the plate. Hey. How you know present? Hey, flag. <laughs> Work for love you the flag way. On the plate. <laughs> when I feel it. That, leave that's why, Eddie. That's why, that's why he called it Ron Dillard. Never mind. Um, Le- leave Eddie. I'm a, <laughs> PSA. Leave Eddie, Arsenio, Magic, and Johnny Gill alone. Bro. I'm tired. Hey, <laughs> that sounds like a nasty faction. I ain't going to hold you. That's the full horseman. And I was about to take it a step further. <laughs> Leave them niggas alone, man. Leave them niggas alone. I can take this either two ways with that joke. Leave Leave them alone. Banks. Stop. Um, okay. All right, let's get Wu-Tang. Right. So Steve Rifkin managed. Not Wu-Tang. Wu-Tang. Steve Rifkin managed, helped manage New Edition. So then at that time, he was doing what's called SRC, which obviously was the name of his label later on, which they were doing marketing and promotion brand. And Steve Rifkin is credited with um, creating the street team, which was before there was social media, the motherfuckers was driving in wrapped up cars, posting flyers, going to parties, going to clubs, promoting. They used to do it for different people. They was working on a contract. Shout out to Angela Yee. She... Which she was an intern for Wu-Tang mm-hmm. and helped on the street team. Which also shot the Gabi, who was French Montana's manager, who did work for Steve Rifkin back in the day. So the label story comes about because he's making money off that, but they would do it off contracts. It's not like a year. It's not like an asset thing. It's like, all right, we're gonna pay you this much, and that's it. You gotta go look for the next person to promote for it. So um, he was doing well with it, and there was like, yo, we want you to do a label. He was like, I don't want to do a label. And then his pops, who ran Spring Records, which they did like disco and funk. Like I said, they had Millie Jackson and all them. Um, they told him like, listen, like you making money off the marketing shit, but that's an asset, but you working per contract. When you sleep, you don't make money. If you have a label, if you're sleeping, you'll be making money while you're sleeping. So he's like, all right, fine. So then he was going to go with Rich Isaacson, who also found it loud. They were supposed to go to somebody. That guy fucked up. Because he spent like twenty million dollars on his budget, and they were like, "Yeah, we can't sign you no more." So then he went to Zoo Records, and then ended up getting the BMG deal. 
So his first two artists, Steve Rifkin, was Twister is his first artist, and The Alcoholics. They did well for him. For considering how much money he made, he only got $3,000 to start that label. So they got their money back quick. Like they sold like a hundred thousand, and then alcoholics he said sold like two fifty to two fifty to three hundred k. So Wu Tang, he gets Wu Tang around. He found out who Rizzo was. He found out who was Prince Rakim. They're chasing him around, whatever. So with Rizzo, they make the deal, and Rizzo says, "I will sign you for fifty thousand." He Riz, Steve Ricken said the most I can get is fifty sixty thousand. And obviously, we see in the on the show, they perform at the BMG Showcase. Um. They trash the hotel. They perform at Jack the Rapper when New God got arrested, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So when that happens, he only signs up for fifty thousand. But RZA tells Steve Rifkin, "Well, Def Jam wants two fifty from me. A lecture wanted two hundred from two hundred thousand. But RZA signed the deal, and they got pissed because it was only fifty thousand. But they asked. He asked with Steve Rifkin, um." They telling them they were telling them like, listen, like Hey, real real quick, go keep going, but y'all take the private chat. Oh, yeah. Um, my fault, I'm almost done. So like with Steve Rifkin, um, with the 50, 60K, the thing was Rizzo was like, Well, Dev Jam wants to pay us this, but they want everybody. Electra wanted everybody. Like they didn't want to just sign just Wu Tang and then solo deals. Nothing. No, they wanted all nine motherfuckers on solo deals. They wanted everything, and they wanted them to change their shit up, as you saw in the season when they were talking to Electra and Def Jam. So, with Steve Rifkin, they asked him, "How did you? Why would you let Rizzo?" When Rizzo told him the whole thing, he was like, "Yeah, like God, Steve Rifkin didn't give a fuck." Mm-hmm. And Rizzo, you know where Steve Rifkin got that from? He got that from New Edition, because he said. It don't matter where they where those guys go to. With all due respect to all nine of them cats, the group is always bigger than the solo artist. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The group is the brand. So with fifty thousand, bro, they probably made that. They Wu Tang probably got that fifty k back probably before the album even came out. I mean, he okay. Honestly and truthfully, he's not lying because this may sound like a hot take. As much as I fuck with Dre and Cube, what they did with their solo careers, I still feel like those NWA albums are what people go back to as far as like non people not in our culture. You know what I'm saying? As far as like the gravity of everything. So he's right. Like with New Edition, Bobby Brown was a great solo artist, right? And so was Johnny Gill. But it goes back to New Edition. Same thing with the Woo. Like no matter what album you love, 36 Chambers is still the one. So he's right. He's so, right. So moving forward, Steve Rifkin understood that dealing with New Edition. So he basically structured the Wu-Tang deal the way had he had New Edition before he, they split ways, how he would have had that done. So the Loud deal was only 50000 which obviously is a cheat code because A, Loud doesn't have that big of a budget yet. And B, he knew Wu Tang's gonna make so much fucking money, they're gonna make that 50K back in no time, and they're gonna get profits off that. So he's chilling. So with the solo deals, Riza told him, and Steve Rifkin was like, go ahead. And then he explains the new edition thing. And he also said they also had a contract, they also, in the stipulation of the contract, they had what's called the first right to refusal. Which the best way to explain that is like an NBA restricted free agent. So for example, if let's say we talk about NBA players, let's say if LeBron wants to go, I don't know, back to Cleveland and was a restricted free agent and Cleveland offered five years, 200 million. And the Lakers said, oh, we don't got the money for that. The Lakers had the Lakers had basically the final say. So, for example, there were certain artists like Met the Man went to Def Jam. They basically Def Jam basically gave Met the Man what they wanted to give all of Wu-Tang. Mm-hmm. Loud ain't have the money. So. Steve Rifkin said, bet, you got him. A lecture, supposedly that deal was the same as what they wanted to give all of Wu-Tang. Yo, that was a great episode, too, because and I'm not going to lie. I ain't going to lie. I, I love that contract, even though he got I – I ain't mean to cut you off, brother. I got it, bro. You got it. I look, I ain't, looking back at it, I mean, just looking at it now, because, I, I mean, I, I do music. You know, like, you know, I, yeah, y'all know I dabble in shit. Gee, Lear, if you was to come to me and say, 
I mean, she Def Jam said they got an extra fifty bands, but she or not even Def Jam. Let's say you know who my favorite rap, yeah, yeah. So you know who my favorite rap is. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna say Atlantic. Atlantic say they got two fifty for me. But let's say we, we're gonna go uh, any other company. Uh we got two. We got two hundred thousand. But we're gonna give your masters in ten, twenty years. My brother, I know I want to deal with these folks, but if you don't take that, right? Which they just saw the money because they yeah. was they still weren't in the best position. Fiscal. Right, but I mean, you give him, you give him. I mean, I understand yeah. the dramatization of the show. I don't know, I don't know exactly how the argument went in real life. You feel me? As far as how long, how long the fallout behind that was, or anything like that. But just looking at my shit, two hundred thousand in my pocket off top, and I get my master's in. You know what I'm saying? X amount of years, and I ain't got to buy. I ain't got to buy him. Yeah, but it goes back to what we said initially when the conversation started. You right, Trey, but. For Dirt Dog, RIP, once again, to the icon, it was more so him thinking about them as shorties and the Def Jam name as he started mm-hmm. back then. Right. Because right. it meant so much to anybody as a rapper. That was the magnum cum laude assigned to any, you know, yeah. label. Mm-hmm. Like, because LL, like, shouts out to him for getting in the Hall of Fame as well as uh, Jay. Right. LL was, like, the first big megastar from... Hip hop, if you want to be honest, I understand Curtis Blow, Run DMC, and all that, but LL was like the yeah. first mega star. He's the first, and I feel like he's the first one of that was black for real and crossover. Right, exactly, because it was just yeah, you know what I mean. It's for the bitches, nigga. They the women would look at him, and then you know what I mean. It, he was hard with the lyrics too. He walking with a goddamn panther. How many niggas walk with a panther besides right. Black Panther? I mean, cause who? How, how can I put this? You right, and he. I mean, granted, y'all know how I feel about, but honestly, when we talk about people that crossed over, it's really LL and Will Smith at that time. I mean, cause you look at the other rappers, it's like, okay, this is just Rakim, Supreme Mathematics rap, or then you, gotta, you got. I'm sorry to cut you off. We got put Ice T in there as too. Like, but no, that's what I'm getting to. Yeah, like here's the thing. Ice T is amazing. I'm not taking nothing away from him, bro. But you gotta think, Ice T and NWA, they were fucking marching, burning CDs. Which, by the way, mm-hmm. if you went out to buy my CD and still burn it, thank you, because I mean you still bought the CD. But exactly. <laughs> but they they were like li- like they were trying to get that band to where that would never happen. Mm-hmm. And so, granted. That honestly, Marcel doesn't pay off, in my opinion. Y'all tell me if I'm wrong. I feel like the whole gangster rap thing does not truly pay off until Doggy Style and Chronic. You're absolutely right. Well, yeah, they they those guys fell on the sword for that shit. That's what I'm saying. Because NWA, yeah, you got the movie, all that, bro. But at the same time, niggas hated NWA and Ice T too. Yeah, yeah. Because he made Cop Killer after that. Exactly. With body he, count and all that. Too. They yeah. didn't start fucking with Ice T probably till he started doing like the acting with New Jack, New Jack City. City. And shit. Yep. Yeah. Like people like six in the morning cops at my door and shit. They weren't fucking with that yeah, shit. Yeah. High rollers, colors. Like they. they Man, were, he like he, the people fucked this shit. But when it came to the mainstream, like there was like on some nah. Like these I people first too much and all that shit. I forget his girlfriend's name at the time, but he had Shorty on the cover. Darlene. Uh, Darlene. Darlene. Shout out to Darlene. He had Darlene on the cover with the shoddy, bro. Like, come on, fam. That one, like, shoddy, night, with, shoddy with the ass out. In 1987? <laughs> yeah, that shit was like, what's the fuck? Too large crew. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, need, I need a cover like that. Uh, you can right, do it now. Today, that's PG compared that's to what that's what I'm saying. It is. It's, ve- it's, it's very. It is. It's, it's very that's, PG. That's, that's so like, PG. Like, bro, yeah. put... Put the city girls in 1992. My God, people lose their <laughs> goddamn mind. Facts, they would have took them to court, bro. Fam, they would have, bro. They would have, bro. You think y'all be getting these think pieces about women's rights and shit now, boy? Let JT would have been able to do a song with Two Live Crew back then, bro. Oh boy, shit. Bro, would have ended, bro. Somebody, man, it would have went crazy, bro. Imagine, yeah. imagine waking up having to see. You know, million man, later. million man March and Rodney right. King, and then you flip the channel to Rap City. No roaches are boy, speaking no roaches. Speak, spe- speaking of that, um, <clears throat> Quavo, go to hell. Okay. For what? For what? Twer- y'all ain't heard. Y'all ain't heard Squirt Brown. Say that again. 
Is y'all ain't heard scrub the ground. Yeah, y'all ain't heard scrub the ground. I, I didn't take my time to listen to that music. Oh, okay. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm all right. It's I was, no, 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 it's a song that he they remade. Um, Luke shit. Oh, oh, him and Young Miami. And if it went for and honestly and truthfully, if it wasn't for Miami. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so Quavo got a new song out in 2021? Yeah. I guess he about to drop an album. Squ- 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 no, delete Squ- that shit. The ground. Burn that hard drive. Burn it. <laughs> Burn that shit. <laughs> 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 Burn that shit. Hell no. Nah. Smoking on top fives. Nah, I don't want to hear none of that shit. That Migos Burn that hard drive. Shit was horrible. <laughs> Bro, that- Bro, you I'm know, me, Larry. no, no, no. That Quavo Honcho was dookie, but dookie. You said the. I thought you said the. I'm talking about both. I'm talking about the album that came out this year for me, and I'm talking about that solo album. Country three weren't that bad, bro. Country three, yeah, country three weren't that bad. Offset, Quavo, Hunt, have it my way. Honcho Jack, terrible. I just like one song off that off that. I don't like album. any songs. I was like, the brother junk gets no play. I don't listen to one song yeah. off that. I fuck with that actually, which is weird. Yeah. Like, wow, that, that, that shit fire. There's only one song on there I like. Hey, but this is what it's all about. Everybody got their own opinion. Uh, you feel me? I'm um, Travis Scott about to drop a new album. If it's good, I'm gonna say it's good. Let me I say like Astro World. I can't wait. Yes, you can. Ah. Uh, you can wait, Marcel. I feel like Travis Travis peaked at days before rodeo to me, but that's no, no, no. Astro World is pretty good, bro. I can't. Astro World. Good. I, I enjoy his, Astro World. It's, it's not, not his days best, before rodeo. It's not his best, though. It's not his best. Yeah, there's days before it's complete. I agree. That's his best body of work, even though he got barred up on every song. But uh but see, oh, I don't look at that's not a bar. Let me yeah, say this. Let me bar. say this. I don't. I, 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 I get what you're saying. I'm about to say because Travis is not a. I get what you're saying. He's, he's, a, he's not a bar rapper. He's a producer. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like it's the equivalent of a nigga killing Dr. Dre, bro. It's like okay. I, get I expect. What you're I wouldn't be surprised if it's Travis like, has Ghostwriters and all that shit. Like it's just. Don't I don't care. I mean, it just makes me turn. Me neither. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like when I listen to Travis, I'm not expecting yep. lyrical miracle. Lyrical, 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 lyrical miracle. You ever read yeah. Travis Scott's uh, liner notes? That shit longer than a Harry Potter book. <laughs> right. So that's I what I'm saying. Like, after every bar, bro. I, yeah. I would not be all them niggas that support, that signed the Cactus Jack. I'm pretty sure right for him in some capacity. But that's Who cool. are these niggas. Oh, uh, you got uh, Sean Tolliver. Yo, shout out to him, man. He's Sean Tolliver to sign a Cactus Jack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I knew Shaq West was. I ain't know Don Tolliver was. Yeah, oh. he got some. He got some young dude named uh, Sofago. So Fago. So hey, Fago. hey, why you, it's crazy that you just said Fago. Hey, um, y'all don't know him, but you know we on air. Shout out my nigga Mo Fago. He on tour with OGs. Bro, you yeah, you know Mo Fago. <laughs> yeah, I know Mo Fago. Wait for real. Yeah. Like, like this nigga was all the way in the back seat of my car, nigga. Word, yes, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> now that song, the cactus now. You got no, that song he got yeah. with OGZ is wild though, cuz I bet I get some coochie tonight. tonight. <laughs> yeah, Frank on my dog. Let me get <laughs> on that song, <laughs> bro. Pull that shit up, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can't. YouTube, YouTube, we sure. Bro, we'll, we'll get, pull we'll, that we'll, shit up we'll, off air, bro. We'll I did not yeah. know you knew Mo Fago. <laughs> mm-hmm. He got, he, bro, he got songs with Duffy and everything. All right, off air, bro. Off air. Hey, off yeah, air. Well, I was like, we can chop it up off air about this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we we'll have. ODB. We'll okay, yeah. So ODB's deal was two hundred with the with the uh the masters. Then you know, then let's go into <laughs> the, I guess the other solo deals, which I understand ODB's point though, which is you know. And Met the Man was the unofficial star, even though Met the Man never liked being the star, and he's said that for years. But, but he was the most talented one. He was the most. Exactly. He was yeah. the most charismatic Easily. looking one. He had, you know, what I mean, like he had, you know, what I mean, look, this fucking. He had the image. He bro, was look, all, look, he look at Twitter original. every time Met the Man goes on a screen, bro. Yeah. Bro, yeah. Was, any oh my woman, god! Any woman post over twenty six is like, oh my god, Method Man, nigga. I see. Bro, it in my person. girl found out what Method Man looked like the other day and was like. Babe, I don't want you to be offended. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm gonna get offended for. <laughs> I've seen a man. I've seen a man in person, bro. I used to work in the stand-up. I used to see him walk around all the time. Bro, I used to get hand out. Yo, what's, hey, what's going on? Certain no, Red no. Man too. I I I know the crib where you know where Red Man did that episode of Cribs. I know where that house is. Yo, yeah, bro, we talked about it. Use that yeah, as a studio now. Let me tell you something real quick. Pause if necessary. But we grown, no, man. We, we all grown. 
You fucking Listen, grown. Don't it's certain, grown it's certain shit, bro. You just you just gotta let it go, bro. Like if I'm walking, I'm with a chick, and she see Roman Reigns, it's like fuck it. I'm about to say, bro, 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 we are we are grown men. We know, what, men. we know what we know what we are. Exactly. Yeah. Bro, you and plus, I can't whoop his ass, ass no way. So I mean, <laughs> you just insecure if you do that shit. Like it don't matter, bro. She could think he like meth. Because I seen it in person with meth. I work with him twice on that TV show that uh just to be with wife is on son. When I tell you them women was losing their damn mind and he wasn't even doing yeah. that, they I'm like, bro, I'm trying to set up the shot. They have, we love you, Meth. I'm like, listen, yeah, it's damn. Damn. <laughs> like, yeah, like method man is damn it. near like a symbol. Yeah, look, right, you got like, was hating on the bus. <laughs> on the bus. <laughs> yeah, he was, bro, you got was hating on the bus on Method Man, bro. Like bro, you got is a you look, got is just a listen, hater, bro. I'm not listen, whatever. We're not talking about him right now, but whatever. He got locked up twice in a year and a half span. Bro, that was the great. No, you saw my bro. Like, if I didn't get locked up, I would have been a okay, buddy. Can we? Relax. Can we get? To, let me know when we can get to the joke. We gonna get to I, the jokes, but let me. I'm, I'm gonna finish it up. I'm gonna finish it up though. So, um, yeah. So they explained the the election, the ODB deal. Uh, <laughs> there's the ODB deal. Um, then let, I'm trying to remember who stayed where. Raekwon stayed out loud. Mm-hmm. But according to Steve Rifkin, the reason why Raekwon stayed out loud was because. I think he took it upon himself to stay, but he was like, because he he knows what he knows what. Um, I think Steve Rifkin. I'm paraphrasing what he said, but he said along the lines of, "He saw what I did for Wu Tang, and he knows he knows that we would do that for him by himself." So that's why he stayed with Loud. He stayed with the home team. Then it was Inspector Dex. What, what were you gonna say? No, nah, I, I was gonna say no. Nah, you because even during the season, you could kind of tell Ray was just trying to. Like the way they depicted it, Ray was just trying to get something, and um, yeah, he just he he knew his role. And he stayed where he fit. Like, quick question, yeah, who is the? I don't know. This you know, in the, in the show, there's like this dude who's a producer, and he did some shit with Ghost, but then it didn't work out. Then he sees RZA in the record store, yeah, and then he even tries to sign Deck. Is that somebody that we know? Or is that just some? That's somebody from the hood. I forgot his name okay. though, but yeah, that's somebody. Okay. That's a true story. I know. I, I'm sure. I just didn't know if that ended up turning out to be somebody. Yeah, that's like somebody they worked with after. I think it was just like they left it where it was. But yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And speaking of Deck, Deck was with Loud, and then he was with Relativity because that's when when Steve Rifkin sold Loud to Sony, and that's how the Three Six Mafia thing came about. Mm-hmm. Because they, when Loud got really big at the time, and I know I'm kind of jumping along, so when Loud, after Wu-Tang, after the first run, they get Mob Deep. We know what happens with Mob Deep. They get um, Alcoholics, start making more albums. Then, this is before, this is even before Big Pun. This is when they got Exhibit. Um, but they did have Exhibit. Like, yeah, Loud yeah. had a roster. Loud had a, is, is Loud there had a, a documentary fucking, DVD on Loud or something? I think so. But Loud had a fucking roster. Loud no, Loud was... Twister. Loud. That was early, early, bro. They alcoholics. Were... They had Wu Tang. They had some of the solo guys. They had Mob Deep. They had Big Pun. They, they set up a mafia. They had a like loud is... prodigy solo too. L- loud is Empire and Stone Throw before they existed, bro. Oh, right? for yeah. real. Yeah, loud yeah. and loud. You know, and the thing with loud too is like you don't really hear anything bad. Like the Twisted thing was just it didn't work out, and he wanted to work Went more to with the guy. Yeah. And then he went to Atlantic, and that's a whole nother discussion for the, another time. Like, and he, even and he was like, cool with it. He was like, listen, he it didn't work out. I don't really he, have, right, go ahead, bro. My fault. I was gonna say, I was just gonna joke and say he wanted to be for Bone Thugs at that time, too. So, yeah, yeah <laughs> the conversation yeah. off here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm even looking at the roster yeah. now. Like, y'all, y'all know that's a whole thing with. Three six beefing with Bone Thugs and then Twister beefing yeah. with three uh, Bone Thugs and this it's a whole thing with that shit. And funny enough, is Lil Flip was his was the last artist on Loud before it dissolved and then went to um SRC. Shout Lil Flip who? Freestyle Wu Tang, Big Pun, Mike. Back on the scene. Crazy Bone. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Bone Crazy Lean. Crazy yes, Bone. Sir. Crazy Bone as a solo artist. The Beat Nuts, MOP, the Alcoholics, Pete Rock. P Rock when P Rock was doing Soul Survivor. Yeah. The low flip was their last artist. Three Six Mafia. Project Pat was signed to Loud on the solo deal. Mm-hmm. Exhibit Twisted Dead Press. The, the well, they were the cellar dwellers, but the dwellers and uh, the executioners, which is the DJ group. Rest in peace to Rock Raider. Um, Rest in peace, Rock Raider. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Rock. They did Remember Funk, they did Funk the beats on NFL Street too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Loud had the yeah Loud had the deal for that. Um, they, they have oh they had a deal with Madden. 
They had NFL Street. NFL, NFL Street. street. <laughs> Wait, I think they had some with Madden too, but I know definitely with NFL Street too. They was on. Um, they was on. Um, they, I think they they were getting right? they were getting songs on Madden. Were they yeah, on? Like were they on like two K five too? No. Yeah, let me look. yeah, the B nuts been on some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They no, Loud, Loud wasn't around at two K five. That's when he went to Universal or SRC. No, no, no. I'm talking about the B nuts. Is period. Like they had the, like the oh, they whole had some stuff. Soundtrack shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah th- then I'm trying to see what else they had. They had uh, they had they had Killer Army, which is you know uh, Wu Tang affiliates. Um, <laughs> the ones that I was gonna beat up North. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> the ones that told Nori shut the fuck up. <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, and that's really, um, yeah, the, that was their, that was their, they have Fun Flex, when Fun Flex is doing the 60 Minutes of Funk albums, he mm-hmm. was signed to Loud, so they had a really good, they had Sadat X as a solo, Tash from, you know, Alcoholics on the solo deal, uh, but yeah, that's, that was their roster, they had a really good roster. And the um, fact that they really gave them folks individual, well, I ain't gonna, I, I'm not gonna say that they did, but. The way the way that it at least looks that they gave groups individual freedom to go out and do their own solo time. Yeah. You feel me? No, they not, did, bro. No, nah, nobody talking about that, financial problems. They did that with everybody because the thing was the thing was was that Steve Rifkin kind of did the Wu Tang deal kind of with everybody else, where it was the first right to refuse. Yeah, mm-hmm. Steve Rifkin isn't thrown around because people just see money. Cause they, you know why, bro? Because he's not he he's not one of them. All in the videos type of guy. No, mm-hmm. but he stays well, in saying, the back. He understands. Yeah. The one thing maybe, and he said he's regretted, is the whole when he sold it to Sony because he was on or was a Universal that he was only there for so long. Yeah, because it's just because they got to the point where they would. It, he, you know, he was saying like it was at the point when loud when they had the heyday of Mob Deep and it was the mid nineties before they went to Sony. He was like, bro, I only had thirty people working with me. There was exactly. no quarterlies and all this. Yeah. We, we need the single and all this other shit. It was like, bro, listen, I'm going to do the budgets. I'm going to do the marketing. I'm going to do this. Everything that doesn't involve the music, I'm going to do. Yeah. Go, but go, go in the studio. Gangsta boo. Yeah, go in the studio. He said that with, yeah, everybody. Everybody. with everybody. He said, yo, go in the studio and make the music. I got y'all back here. And you realize Let's a lot of people, studio. when they right. got out of their label deals, their big label deals, they wanted to go to Loud for that freedom. And right. I'm... What I'm saying is, because he's not in public, like we see, oh, that's Irv, oh, that's Dame, or whatever. But Steve wasn't that type of guy. And what I'm saying is, he may not come off as like the quote unquote richest guy, but what he did set up a foundation for Stone Throw Empire, the different you know rostrum, the different independent labels that are out there. So he's always gonna get my respect because without him. We don't have the options we have now. Like it was even surreal watching this show because when Rip, I'm not gonna lie, like you popped at the flood shit. This is where I popped. So yeah, this is new shit called Pro Tools. I was like, oh shit, yeah. 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 I see. That. I was like, <laughs> nigga, me too. I swear, I see a nigga. I see a nigga. What? <laughs> yeah, when he said that, yo, this is secret, son. I was like, oh shit. They talking about like, okay. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep it street, nigga. Being born in '94, nigga, I was, nigga, me personally, nigga, I thought Pro Tools came around probably like '99, 2000. Nah, I oh, knew no. it came yeah. out. That's what I, I just, thought. Cause my papa yeah. told me about that shit. But he's nah, about hey, Jennifer Lopez. Listen, it, hmm. it, it changed. <laughs> it changed. Hey, updates. I'm gonna say this too as a joke before we get to the jokes. If RZA don't own a portion. Or some stock in one of these motherfucking drive companies like Google Drive, Dropbox, or something. Yo, yeah, <laughs> yo, he really, yo. If I was any of the marketing people and I watched the show, I would fucking call Riza tonight. Tonight, <laughs> mm-hmm. hey man, you should make a commercial about the flood <laughs> and talk hey, about saving your shit. I need a 2003 Chappelle show s like commercial. From Dropbox, oh, flop, and yes. <laughs> oh, flop, yes, bro. That'd be the perfect building, bro. Yo, son, I ain't doing no floppy disks no more. Diversify your uploads, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> bomb, bomb, Dropbox. Bomb, bomb. Hey, but yo, real, nah, real shit. Old bro. dirty sense his regards. Yeah. <laughs> dude, dude, dude. And it's it's funny too, cause like really the only people that if you really think about that got like fucked over, like with loud. Honestly, the only thing that really happened that really got fucked up was um, Mob Deep with Murder Music, because mm-hmm. yeah. the album got leaked. Because they had, because the story with them is they had to, because Loud went from RCA to Sony, <laughs> and because of the merger, 
they were supposed to come out the end of 98. But because they had to wait for the sale to be completed, they basically told them, like, yo, for loud, don't put anything out. Wait till the merge is official. But they had to wait almost fucking a year for that. Like, I think it was, like, almost a year for that to happen. That's yeah. why the album came out in 99. And that's when that whole album got leaked. That's when, like, half of the fucking album got leaked. And then they had to basically remake, put, like, eight or nine new songs on murder music. Because yeah, they literally yeah. just had to sit and wait until the merger was... Because they wanted to basically... I guess Sony wanted the Mob Deep album really bad. And the RCA deal was about to be done. So they wanted to take advantage of that. But that's like... But that's not Mob Deep's fault. And that's not... Nah. Really, Steve Rifkin's fault. That's just a... You know, that's, that's just... I'm about to say, that's business. That's, that's just like... It was a like business what, decision. But it wasn't a shady... You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? It wasn't like he was throwing Mob Deep to the, to the fire. Like, yeah, it's just like when... Um, that's like when Lloyd Banks, Mo Money in the Bank, got, uh, well, the big withdrawal, when that shit got leaked, yeah. and then he had to reshuffle everything and make Rotten Apple, like, same shit, like, that's some shit you just can't control, but, right. um, exactly. well, yeah, shut, hey, man, that's, but, yeah, man, and then, just to go into the label shit, like, I think, well, I know we joke on you, God, but you got did get signed to Priority Records, because of, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh God, I'm sorry. I don't. I'm not trying to do you got jokes no more. We'll say that no. a little bit. But I got a um, Nah, nah. But you got <laughs> you got was with Wu Tang Recordings, which is the production label, and then they got him through Priority. Um, RZA took Ghostface and Capadonna with him to Sony because because of Wu Tang, RZA got Razor Sharp Records, which was his own label. So basically, he signed himself. Then he bought Ghostface to Capadonna, hence Razor Sharp Records at Epic. If you look at Ghostface's first two albums, yeah. They were signed to Epic through that. RZA took them. RZA took Ghostface with him because we all know RZA and Ghostface is bond. So wherever RZA went, Ghostface went with him. RZA understood the importance of Ghostface. Then Inspector Deck was on Loud. Raekwon stayed on Loud, and then Jizza went to Geffen, which was weird at the time. And even Steve Rifkin was like, "Why would you put him with Geffen?" Reason why is we know Geffen Records. Geffen Records signed rappers later on. <coughs> But at the time, Geffen Records had Nirvana. It was more of a rock label. But RZA did that as, on some industry shit. Like these rock cats know how to know how to um, keep the money. So I'm gonna put a rapper on a rock label. I'm gonna learn the industry not only from Loud, but I'm gonna learn the industry on the rock side because that was at the time when rock was still the legacy act genre. You know right. what I'm saying? Right, so right. he used Jizza at Geffen as a way to learn the industry, and Jizza was cool with it. Nah, for sure. Um, so, yeah, man. Shout out to Loud. Uh, one day, we're going to have to do a... Uh, we, me and Banks already talked about it. I'm going to say it on here. We're going to do an Alchemist slash Mob Deep appreciation episode. And Damn, I didn't even pitch that. That's crazy. We need to we need to talk about that. Uh, we're going to get into that one day. Yeah, bro. Hey. Yeah, um, and then we'll get into Rifkin like with SRC. He got he signed Akon, which was who's the biggest fucking artist in the world for two or three years. You know what? But now nah, mm-hmm. let me say something. It was, and David I don't Banner. Know, and, I don't you know, know if y'all seen this tweet. I'm sorry for cutting you off. I had to. I have yeah. to call a fuck nigga out when I see this. It was a dude on Twitter. And I, <laughs> uh, I gotta, fucking course. Go ahead. I gotta find the tweet. But he said that you Young doing? Jeezy would not be as big as he was if Soul Survivor never popped off. Let's get out of here. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to deal with these fucking nut ass Twitter. Niggas. All right, listen. All right, anyway, Jay-Z, Twitter no more. Jeezy hey. had Jeezy had Jay Z behind him. So we're not, we're not doing. Nah, we're not. Nah, doing nah, nah, I, I, even before that, listen to music. Motherfuckers don't listen to music. Motherfuckers don't pay attention to the grand. Y'all don't watch sports. Music. All y'all do is fucking bitch whine and complain. I don't see y'all fucking work no job. Bro, go tell him to go shine his brunch boots and shut the fuck up. Hey, Anyways, let me, let me say something, bro, nigga. You nigga, just because you like Soul Survivor, we ain't gonna act like boys in the hood won out. Thank you. So hey, you feel me? Exactly. Y'all, them boys had work. Them boys had J's. You feel me? The boys got Glocks. <laughs> the boys get paid. Them boys get paid. Get paid. Fuck it you, was man. taking too long for never mind. Never hey, mind. Hey, man. It was taking too long for it to lock up. You know what I'm saying? Bring it back. Bring it back. <laughs> Damn, hey, bro. That's uh, all right, bro. That's crazy. You said yeah. what? That was 2005. That was 2005, what? same year. Yeah. Well, Boys uh, in the Hood was oh, late 04. Yeah, then, it was like late 04, early 05. Yeah, and then they, they, uh, yeah. I, that, I, I got a Boys in the Hood story, I'll tell y'all off air. I've seen them niggas. I've met I them the niggas. Bootleg. 
<laughs> no, I actually met them niggas in person. That shit was hilarious. I, I said, "Oh, hey, fuck it, man." Um, Jody Breeze supposed to be the future. I'm hurt. Nah, <laughs> was, this, was this is the funny the part. Like, um, this is 06, bro, and this is when Young. I think I told y'all this, but Young Jock was. I know I told Young this. Young Jock was the like biggest dude from the south at the time, like everywhere. This is like when the, when Tom Cruise was doing the shit and everything. So I'm in fucking finish line, bro. It's just looking for new shit because school just started. And I just look and I just see like 10 niggas like, <laughs> in block ENT, Letterman jackets and wow. shit. So I'm like, I'm tripping because I see Jock and I'm dap up Jock. But I'm like, nigga, this Jody Breeze, <laughs> goddamn no. Gorilla Zone or whatever, right? So my sister like was the biggest young Jock. Like she loved this nigga. She regrets it to this day, but she loves Young Jock, right? So I go and tell her, I'm like, hey, you know, young Jock down there. She's already mad because I trolled her before. She's like, he's not down there. I'm like, Ashley, he's right there. So she goes down, and then all I know, she beat me to the store, bro. All I hear is, ah! I'm like, all right, bro, calm the fuck down. <laughs> but yeah, shout out to uh, Gorilla Zo, uh Block NT. I used here, to be, bro. Oh, my bad. <laughs> hey, no, 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 no. That's a... Hey, that's another conversation. For that's, the, hey, I, hey, they, they, hey, man. 07 to 09, we go, we'll have a conversation one day about <laughs> Rocco, Shotty, Low, and Zo, bro. We're going to have a talk. We're we going to have a talk. Can we, can we just talk about, bro, how you guys said, man, I ain't known that time, too. Yo, all right, here, let's get to the joke. No, nah, we got to get to the joke. We ended this with jokes, bro. <laughs> bro, fuck it. I'm going to talk to you off air about this, but we got, let's, let's get to the jokes, bro. Bro. Hey, ODB smoking weed with the super was hilarious, bro. I swear to God, I thought he was gonna yeah, just do the yeah, super. Yeah, bro. Like, yeah. Yo, him just yo, him just hijacking every show had me crying, bro. No. He said, "With the black man, with the black man, we all gotta go against the white man." Mm-hmm. Bro, black no. man if you when can, they, let's just jump all over the place with it. Fuck like whatever comes to mind, bro. When they showed. Their depiction of Atlanta and not bro, that shit was hilarious. bro, that shit was hilarious. <laughs> I was like, nigga, is this supposed to be Andre? <laughs> oh, I, I, I went by, I went by myself. I said, nigga, is that LK? That was on, that was Andre, that was Andre thirty. <laughs> Fuck you, me, bro. To go from that, that was to, Andrew three thousand. Hey, mm-hmm. and shout shout out to the legend, but to go from that, Anthony twenty five hundred. <laughs> no, to go from that, to go from that scene. To the Steve Rifkin, man, fuck you, pal. Do you know who my dad is? Fuck <laughs> you know my dad. <laughs> Gotta pull that card. You had to pull that card. He you can't pull, to pull that card. Hey, man. what what did Maul say for Jumbo? My dad'll have your ass. <laughs> yeah, he he did the my dad'll have your ass. Yeah, he used that one at that time. You, you know what's it, you know what's funny? Speaking of uh, dads, um. Yeah, the reason why I lied with the whole shit that fell out of fever <laughs> when he could have went to Sony instead of Universal, you know who took over Universal? Lucian Grange. Hey, bro. He went, hey, he went crazy, oh, bro. That shit was just, well, have your fucking ass, pal. Nah, dog. That, that shit. shit. No. Oh, the, the, when, all right, let's talk about when you guys got caught, bro. This. <laughs> Which time? Yeah, he right. got caught twice. The first the first time, bro, like getting caught with all this shit on your face. Like, for... right. You got caught with the cocaine on his face? It nah. like it, but not. Nah. Well, he was baking a cake, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> the, the greatest part, the greatest part was me- Hey yo, hey yo, ain't you on probation, son? <laughs> I'm like, I'm good. No, so good. good. So we'll see you back. So as he caught back, hey, hey Lamont, we saw you right now. <laughs> Lamont, <laughs> we, you we said your government name? Yeah, yeah, he yes, it. yes, they did. Name. God damn, like, bro. Like Mr. Hawkins, <laughs> hey, you bro. were, uh, you were not, you were in Atlanta. Like, what do you like, mean I was in Atlanta? <laughs> like, bro. But I they told the him, they're like, hey, God, you they got, you, you ain't Portland, supposed right. to be here. He was like, yo. I just say I went to a show or I got to work for show, whatever he said. Caught his ass in 4K, nah, they bro. They caught the video. They caught that son in Polaroid. Fam. He all said, I got you right here, pal. He, said, he, 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 rolled, he, rolled, he rolled the TV like a substitute teacher and put the tape in. He, 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 pull, he oh, pulled up. Oh, this you? This you? Up the you got, like, stay right this there, you got? Stay this right. You? He, he pulled up and said, stay 
right there. And you pal. know what's crazy? People don't think the hip hop police exist. Ain't that a yeah, bitch. That's that's right there, bro. And that's before but, we had cell phones. But no, mm-hmm. you thought I was just an idiot, bro. <laughs> Act rolling dumb. Rizza type no. beat with Larry saying that. <laughs> <laughs> at least he admitted. At least he admitted to you. God was an idiot, bro. Like, fam. Yo, have y'all heard that story that you got told on Vlad TV about Mike Tyson allegedly taking his mom chain? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Mike Tyson was like, "Well, tell you got to come get it from me, bro." <laughs> I, I never get that shit, bro. Oh, <laughs> well, you got it, OG. That's no, all I would have said. Just, I would lie. But these folks stay fucking with Calm Mike, and it's hilarious because Calm Mike is like, "Fuck is wrong Mike. with you." It's still this Mike shit, in here. This shit was 30 years ago. What the fuck is wrong with you? Right. You're a disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> Tell your mother to get it back. Like, yo. Like, I, I, no, nah, he, he'll say some funny. And I love your mother. But what is wrong with you? Because <laughs> <laughs> he would say some shit like that. Right. Like, That's how you know he's from that yeah. air. Your mother just leave up the chain so smoothly like his. Bruh, I knew Mike was real. When he did his stand up special and he talked about the boxer dude, the Jerry Curl, when he saw him uh, in the clothing store. Yeah, when he punched up Mitch Green. Green. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, man. Said Mitch just start talking. Pow! <laughs> hey, the lock story about Mike Tyson is hilarious, bro. Yeah, it's well, the greatest he, shit ever. Eve, I want to. Yo, Eve, you got to hold that down. <laughs> yo, <laughs> what Jada said, you go out there. Just, no, yeah. they said, he said they just kept saying, yo, Eve, yo, yo just, yo, Mike, chill. Like, sure. chill. <laughs> nah, the it locks. Was, yeah, they was going to get a plan to stab, stab Mike Tyson. That shit was funny. Yo. Dude, we just go at the he post. Said, he said Sheik was going to go first. Bruh. <laughs> the biggest what? one. Bruh. Any lock story is legendary. The story they told about, yeah, nigga. Beanie and then was at 90 hot 97 talking crazy shit. So we went up there with the Trey Pound to act stupid. <laughs> <laughs> the story about Jay Electronic could be having me in tears with two Jews and a uh, black dude. Yo, bro, that shit at the hotel. He was like, yo, Stout said, yo, he was like, man down. Like, that's all I said. New York niggas be funny because <laughs> when, they, when they said they called, <laughs> when they said they called state property in a show in Puerto Rico, I said, yeah, we seen freewell on the side of the stage. And we was for the fuck. Freeway, shout out to free. <laughs> That's still yo, funny. Yeah, shout out. Nah, the other what's the yo? They told another story. Yo, the story about them being on a plane to go into the Pro Bowl in Hawaii was yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, the double around the country just to get to Hawaii. The sixteen-hour oh flight. Oh my god, we went to Arkansas. Then bro. we went to Atlanta. Then we nah. went to Chicago. We Kurt, was crazy. Bro, Curtis said that when Styles P came to New York, came to New Orleans and they did the um, first twenty-eight EP. He said, he's like, let's rap. He was like, all right. I didn't plan on doing this today, but okay. So they started rapping. And he did another song. And then he did another song. And then he said, they were, they were about to do, he, they did five. He said, they were about to do six. He was like, my nigga, enough. <laughs> let's just put this out and call it Yo, a day. Bruh. bruh it's like Lock, Wu-Tang stories, bro. Like, them, them shits are hilarious. Locks, bro. Wu-Tang, Mob, Deep Stories. I can hear that shit all day. <laughs> You said who? Pun with the Uzi. <laughs> Bro, pun kidnapping who kid is hilarious. <laughs> Yo, oh. the band from TV story was funny. Look, look, look at Marcel get excited about it. Yeah, he said Noy went to the bathroom and Big Pun was just sitting at the chair the whole time. Noy went to go go to the fucking bathroom, smoke a bogey, and then Big Pun had a verse on band from TV. And Noy, he told Noy, you going to delete that? Hey. You going to oh. erase that verse? Since we, uh, and rest in peace, DMX stories too. Nobody yeah. wake the dog up. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nope, probably, you, see, nah, nah, the the hard knock life toy story with them is fucking hilarious. Bro. We, we, we gonna talk about them, when they they told the chick that they uh they uh what was the story? They got some chick to drive. They like they they asked some chick to borrow their car, and then they drove the car, and then they left that shit on the side of the road and just walked off the highway. It was like him, Ja Rule, Lenny, yes, or somebody, else. bro. Bro, <laughs> see, bro. <laughs> Bro, these niggas is wild. Bro. New nah. York people different, bro. Bro, yeah. that's what I was saying, bro. You gotta appreciate crazy. You gotta appreciate our East Coast cousins, bro, because them niggas is hilarious. Niggas DMX is flying out the whole terror squad, riding dirt bikes, and then going to sleep in the studio, and his whole crew like nobody, yeah, nobody the sees dog. the dog. Nobody sees the dog. <laughs> like yo, I was there the whole time in the same hotel. No, I did not see him. But Norris yo. said, Norris said he went up to him, like, why you ass up? Like, 
Nah, bro, that shit is funny. You fucking yo. And then the way he initiated, he said Fat Joe said he was going to the bathroom. He wearing a DMX and he saw Tony Sunshine. He was like, Tony Sunshine, I fucking love you. Let's record something. <laughs> Fat Joe was like, great. <laughs> Like, get it done now. Let's get it done. The label asked him, Where's the verse set? <laughs> but yeah, that like that's just the thing about all those dudes, like the Bob <laughs> Deep stories. Like, oh, bro, like it's the, it's the greatest shit ever, bro. We're gonna, we gonna have a con. We, hey, we're gonna have a con. Like, Nelson, we already said we're gonna do an East Coast one, bro. We're gonna have a conversation about our favorites, bro, because bad, them shit. niggas, them is them is bro. OD, bro, the ODB Mariah carry fantasy stories, hilarious. Bro, nah, my friend was a star. He just walked yeah. in the studio. Was like, yeah, uh, I think I'm supposed to be here. And they were like, nah, Jada Kiss is my favorite, no favorite said, hilarious. Record and leave, and that's how you got on Ghetto Superstar with Pro- Prize and Maya. Bro, my Jada son just walked in the wrong studio, recorded, and dipped. So I'm Jada like, Kiss on uh, Jada Kiss when he did the like he, him retelling the story of his Philly freestyle. He was when he was dissing beans in the crowd. Oh, yeah, he was yeah, like, yeah. I had the true blues on and they booed me. They <laughs> fucking booed me. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was funny, bro. Bro, I can listen to that shit. And the fact that they literally found um what's their names? Uh damn. Uh it's the real. It's the real guys. And they were like, Yeah, let's review movies together. And it's just been bruh. I love the locks, bro. Nah, them shits are hilarious. Bro. Hey, you got to respect any group that bullies Dipset. <laughs> dog, them cat, yo, bro, Sheik Luch is like the funniest one, dog. Bro, I think he's even she, funnier than Dedicus, bro. bro he be lying about his age. He be like, yo, I'm 56. Yo, Jewels ain't been hold that bad since them SAS niggas kidnapped that nigga in London, bro. In London? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Trizzy Wizzy. <laughs> Oh, Trissy, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Free Max B, bro. <laughs> Free Max B. Hey, man, but now nah, back to this show, bro, because we we here, bro. I'm a, we'll talk about some more shit out there, but, bro, what the fuck was up with Lala, bro? Like, God damn, bro. Was she getting penetrated? Nah. Might as well have shit. <laughs> I mean, every show she is, she's getting penetrated. Nah. Nigga, what? <laughs> Yo. She was talking about how. She so I allegedly Tracy Waple said this, but whatever. Um, uh, allegedly, she said that uh, if songs made her pussy wet, that means they were good. And she said, "Might yes. as well." And she said, <laughs> and she said that Wu Tang protector that made her. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. But like, Man. I guess yeah. for women, like that's like women a style of power. Different. It was a shock value. Like even like Devon and them, like. Also, I want to say the guy who played the guys who played Divine and Power are really good. Um, bruh, hilarious, bruh. The, okay, you know we, SBU, the dude who plays Divine. Uh, Julian we, Martinez. We, the we didn't, Martinez, we didn't, yeah. Yeah, name. we didn't talk about it because we were waiting for today to do it. Bruh, let's talk about that fucking episode where Divine and Power had to, like, the way they had to squash the beef and they sitting there the fucking, Yo. on the boat. Yo, <laughs> bruh, motherfuckers was downstairs by the beer stand, the other one was upstairs by the bathroom. That shit was like an episode of the Warriors. Bro, every fucking time, like, like I relate to power so fucking much, bro. That shit was so fucking hilarious. Bro. Nah, bro, power is hilarious. When he was the mic shit, he's like, he was like, man, fuck it, just put that shit in the fucking car. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> he said, he said, I got the mic. He said, he said, there's two mics. And power was like, you said one mic, son. Like, here's a mic, son. Nah. When they walked out and they were, and Bobby was like, "Let me think about it." And I was like, "Nigga, what the fuck is wrong with you, nigga?" <laughs> <laughs> Yo, and that's a very New York ass way to think. Cause if you don't think about it, what the fuck you think about it for me. My you favorite. Just know. No, my favorite part was when he came. And he was talking to his mom. Pop, you got anything else you want to say? <laughs> and then at that the end, and then at the end, he was like, "Yeah, you should call it woo word." That's that moment that every black dude. Wants to have with their dad, like, yeah, dad, I made it. Fuck you. <laughs> like, yeah. You might as well go to, you might as well put fucking the Bill Withers lean on me instrumental. Bro, that, that shit was shit hilarious, was bro. Power, power is um, low key my favorite character. Cause even when he saw Riz on the bus, he was like, I ain't gonna do nothing to you, son. You cool. Like, yeah, <laughs> don't do nothing to me. <laughs> oh, yeah. my God, bro. That shit. Him getting his car towed. No. 
when he had to convince the club I'm gonna let them in. Yeah. <laughs> he had to call his OG. He was like, he was like, yeah, he was like, yeah they ain't letting us in. <laughs> Which is which? It's funny because that guy ended up being uh, Wu Tang's manager. Yeah, but now nah, the, the funny part about the episodes when they started off, you just see them running. So I'm like, oh shit, they done ran these niggas out the club. Man, these niggas getting chased by girls, bro. I was like, man, get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> we like the fucking Beatles. Yo, RZA is fucking hilarious, bro. That hey Banks, that scene when he was making the label deal and he was like. Uh, he was playing chess with like the three different variants of himself and shit. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I had to post that shit. Finish how you start. That shit, bruh. The scene where he was making um, is that protect I forget, is it protection neck? Where he was making the song and like he kept taking the people out and it was like that. Yeah, yeah. That shit was funny. No, when, when, when Matt was like, damn son, what you got me standing here for? <laughs> Yo, RZA, RZA oh is hilarious. God. I mean, the fact that he started that flood when his when his girl came back, trying to show you the signs. Like, look hey, what man. happened when a woman step in your life, bro. Like she came back, flood, and like Younger said last week, man, I'm I'm diving trying to save all this shit. <laughs> yeah, bro, that shit was that shit was. Oh, man. Yo, there's another yo, there's another scene I'm trying to remember, and I it, I'm blanking Bruh. out. But the whole shit is hilarious because oh, the, they told the master killer story, which is cool. They didn't tell the whole story, but they told the story, which is oh uh, no, that was funny. The, the the way they introduced master killer, <laughs> which that is funny because that actually is the true story. I know, but it's just the the way like the way they shot that shit was hilarious. Yeah. Like yeah, he he with us. <laughs> like yeah, he, he nice. Yeah, because uh, yeah, the, yeah, that is a true story. Like he was Jesus man. He used to just go hang out with them, and then the original story supposedly is that. They chess boxing is the last song that they recorded, mm-hmm. and they needed a verse. And then Killer Priest was there, and they mm-hmm. told him like they were like, "Yeah, we just gonna have somebody get on," because that's how they used to do their songs. It was everybody would rap, and whoever had the best verses, RZA would take would put to keep them. Yeah, because I mean, you saw it in the you saw when they was there, and he was like, "Yo, you hop on." Yeah, and then yeah. and then he hopped on. He's like, "Nah, put some emphasis in that shit." He did, and it's crazy. Yeah, Start killing this shit. No, nah, they I, said Killer Priest had a verse, but it was like he mailed it in and shit. Like he was bullshitting and partying. No, nah, my my favorite, like everybody, like the nigga who played Deck. First of all, he looked like Neil <laughs> CV number one. But number two, yo. <laughs> number two, just the way that nigga facial expressions after like spraying the graffiti, he just looked like a green ass nigga, bro. But look at me. Yo, he seen the kids doing the graffiti. Like, yo, yo, keep that shit up, yo. Right. <laughs> keep that shit up, son. Bruh, all the fucking ghost face and Sharice. Oh, man. <laughs> nah, them, them, yo, low key, them seats was kind of funny, bro. I yo, I, yo, I told you I was going to the studio. Yo, you <laughs> shoot that studio, son. <clears throat> nah, that I was shit. Gonna stay, I was going to say, well, none of these motherfuckers. Bro, nah, so my, like, yeah, you can just come through and put the crib here. It's like, what? Nah, we need to clip that that Raekwon thing, bro. When he walked in, yo, I'm sick of this shit, man. The black man can never get over, man. Like, bro. <laughs> yo, Raekwon is the greatest nigga nah. ever. Everybody downstairs, yo, son. I remember I used to sleep on these rooftops. <laughs> like, yo, man, I used to sleep on this rooftop. You know what I'm saying? I have my clothes man. in the closet. He, bro, Ray is the GOAT, bro. Like, that shit, when he got shot. <laughs> Yo, them calling the radio stations? Bro. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm Protect your neck, man. What the fuck? Protect fuck. your neck. That's what I'm requesting. Bro, I love that. Bro, how, that you know I call the, how you know I called the first time? Marcel, I know we spoiling this, but, bro, please go watch this fucking that show. Shit, bro. This shit is fun. I'm going to check it out. I, I watched like a couple of episodes. That shit nah, I think, fine, okay, bro. low key moment. When that nigga Divine showed up the dude house that tried to file the workman's comp, he was like, <laughs> <laughs> he was like hey, Yo. bro, uh uh-uh, uh, nah, <laughs> nah. That that was hilarious, You're bro. Like, what is perfecto? That <laughs> yo, the fact that they paid the last of the money to do to make the Wu Tang logo and shit, and it, it, the way they he set the Easter egg because he he basically made the fucking uh, liquid liquid source cover too. It's just they couldn't use it for the logo, but basically. and 
Jism, like, like I said, Rizza's respect for Jism is hilarious because Jism is like, yo, I ain't something I pay for, God. Like, no, no, bond, God. <laughs> oh, <it's> bond, God. <laughs> you the abbot. <laughs> what is peace? Oh, no, no, no. Speaking of phone calls, the funniest phone calls is when Jizza gets the payphone. Bruh, but he sat there for like oh, hours. Yeah, you, I'm about to say, you trying to get the power when she cut on. Peace, God. <laughs> Peace, God. Please. Please. Peace, God. Excuse no, me. Yeah. Peace, God. Yo, I got oh, yeah, you. Peace, God. Nah, when he finally got the dude, it was like, it's like, yo, I got you, God. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can tell on this podcast. I got you, God. No, nah, we <laughs> second title. We'll talk off air. But nah, when he walked past the Israelites at the end, it was like. Yo, yo, that shit was nice. He was like, yo, he shook his head like, damn. <laughs> Standing across them niggas every day. <laughs> bro, you gotta love Wu-Tang, bro. All them niggas is hilarious, Oh, man, bro. that shit was funny, bro. bro. That shit but was fucking hilarious. I, what, I, what I am concerned with, though, and we'll end, is because when they ended it, it's kind of preluding trying to tell you about the, the downward spiral of ODB. Yeah, because you know it was showing him getting drunk and starting like it's kind of yeah, starting. Yeah, to sh- yeah. yeah bro. So overall, it was a very good episode, bro. That was the that yeah. bro. That whole that the series. That season, the first, yeah, the whole series is good, but especially the second season is really good. Yeah. Like I thought they were gonna gonna fast track it, but they really did well with explaining everybody's story. You know, they didn't really get too into contract terms like we did on this episode, but they explained how the contract came about. And I think I'm, I hope the third season isn't the last, but if it is, I hope they don't fast track it. But I believe in them, I think they'll get it right. So, shout out, shout out. Like I said, it may be, it may be an extended season though. Never know, it could be too. Yeah, it could if they, be. If, it, if they do it, it needs to be like 16 episodes though. At least, I was thinking, I know, I was thinking 20. That's I mean that's hard. that's I mean that's they, they lot, only they dude. do ten it's for now. So I'm saying I think six fifteen or sixteen would be cool, yeah. especially if they like dedicate a whole episode to like those albums. You okay, know, I see what you're saying. Like yeah. dedicate an episode to Iron Man, dedicate an episode to or two to Cuban Cuban, Cuban links. Cause please, please, God, I need to see them reenact the Raekwon, Ghostface, and Michael Jackson story. I need that. <laughs> I need, no, uh, I need, I need them to. I need an episode strictly on how them recording "Return to the Thirty Six Chambers." Bruh, I need a I, strictly ODB episode of them recording that shit. And of course, you got it. If they gonna end it like this, you need the ODB. Um, oh, ooh, baby, I like it. We, I need that episode, bro. I don't, I don't care. I need it. Nah, shout out, nah, shout out to this show. This is the only show I could watch where ODB literally took a nigga shotgun with his bare. It's slow motion in jet in gently slow motion. He different. Bro. After getting his ass whooped by dude like twice. Like. Bruh, that's ODB, bro. That's that be different. Sh- superhero powers, man. Bruh, I'm sorry, Riz. I'm not believing. Yo, he's coming. And he's got <laughs> niggas with him. And he's got a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that shit was it was mad slow, like right. between that. Shit that that bet- shit was classic. Between <laughs> that, the fucking the dramatization of them going to the radio station and them having the fucking oh my shootout. God. They fucking playing. <laughs> they they reenacted John Woo the killer and shit. That shit was fun. Right? Ooh, and then that, they bro. have like River City Ransom Pokemon graphics when they walk into the door. And the fact like, is, yeah, and the fact <laughs> is they had the fucking like the episode before them niggas hated each other. And then now they're just the best of friends. <laughs> you know what's funny too? Like in interviews, they try to I heard like I've always read how like Ray and Ghost try to downplay the whole thing of them like having shootouts because that was a legit thing in Staten Island, the Stapleton Park Hill beef. But mm-hmm. Cappadonna was like, yeah, I understand why they try to downplay it. But he's like, Cappadonna was like, that shit was happening. <laughs> Cappadonna was like, Nah, because that, that's how it be when you, when you, so it's like, oh, that shit wasn't nothing, man. This is old shit. <laughs> yeah, like, he's like, we could talk about it now. Hey, it later. 
man, it's niggas I know that if you if you bring up like man, that shit's so old, bro. Like hey, that man, shit was funny, bro. Man, oh he he swung God. at me, I swung at him. We we talked it out like man, bro. Like we cool sh- now. Shout out to Trey know who this is. Shout out to Orange Mound Fred, bro. I tell y'all that's all right, bro. Yeah, yeah, man. bro. That was a, shout yeah. out to Ball MJG. Ain't they from Orange Mound? Yes, yeah. Orange Mound. Hey, chill, chill, bro. <laughs> oh no, I'm not trying to start no game. No, though, not you. Just... To oh. myself. Wow. God See? damn it, man! I gotta just close my mouth. <laughs> yeah, it'd be Please. the best, bro. Just mute your best. mic, man. That's 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 best. But hey, man, listen, y'all. This has been another great, 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 great episode or two. And we extended it for uh, y'all. Nah, or, or two. We're giving, oh, we're giving an extra 20. Yeah, you feel me? We'll, we'll, hey, man, we appreciate y'all stopping through, man. We will. Are we doing potentially a bonus episode Saturday? It ain't locked in, potentially. Okay. Possibly. I'm down. Y'all know me. Y'all let me know. Hey, man. Hey, we'll we'll talk off air because I'm I'm a bring we're gonna talk off air. But yeah, man, I appreciate anybody stopping through. Like, share, hell, leave a review on fucking Apple with the podcast app and shit, man. Tell tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell a friend to tell a friend. You might have learned something. You might have learned something new in this. You might have learned something new in this podcast. Hey man, about record labels. Hey man, we give you the we give you the seriousness, but we got jokes too, man. You know, share share this shit, man. Like. You know, fuck with us, man. Like we we got some shit coming too, man. You know, we we move silent, but we got some shit coming, man. Just remember, mm-hmm. if you don't book the woo, you don't get the whole. Woo. Just don't forget that shit. Exactly. But anyway, I'm out of here. You can find me on Twitter at DJ Larry zero zero nine three. You got my man Nell at who is original. Yes, sir. On Twitter. You got my boy Two L's Youngin, Two L S Y U N G I N, on all social media platforms. Shout out to Sixty Shot Cell Block underscore underscore on IG. Mister No Aim. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> this nigga man. Shout Mr. out to you. You can, you can follow us at Show Your Work Net on Twitter. Hi, I'm Kyle. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and. I hate y'all niggas, man. We, we'll catch y'all. We'll catch y'all next time, man. Peace hey, and prosperity, man. man. We'll see y'all. Hey, where my killer tape at, God? <laughs> Shot me just got bust in his fucking head. <laughs> oh, they... Is he dead? What the fuck do you mean? Is he fucking oh, dead? They biting the Nas. They biting the Nas shit. <laughs> hey, man. Rest hey, in man. peace to Papa Wu. Hey, man. We'll, we'll holler at y'all, man. Hey, shout out and to the Wu. Rest to, uh, never mind. Hey, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Huh, what? <laughs> what? Huh? Yeah. Rest, hey, man. Rest in peace, man. <laughs> hey, we, we out, man. We'll catch y'all boys later, man. Bop, 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 bop. Amazing, brother. <laughs>